Hello everybody and welcome back to the Epic Frodo YouTube channel. My name is Will and today I'm joined by Jack. Hola. <laughs> Shaka bro. And Sam. Shaka Hello. And today we are doing Attack of the Clones. So if you want to watch along at home, put your timestamp to zero and press play when I say go. You guys ready? All synced up? Yes. Okay. See. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Attack of the Clowns. Oh, no. So Jack, I remember last week you said you were load. you were quite scared to watch this after Phantom Menace. Yeah, because I remember I, I can remember loving this one, and then with the CGI problems with the last one, I remember in CGI in this as well. I think they do use a lot more practical effects in this, and a lot more sets as well they design. But it's still, I'm a bit scared. I find here we go. This one, I just don't want to read the crawl. <laughs> Da, 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 Jack, do you want to read the crawl? Read the crawl as Emperor Palpatine. I'm going to do it on Marge. Marge. Oh, do it Marge. Marge, yeah. uh, Who? Marge. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 2. <laughs> Attack of the Clones. There is unrest in the Galactic Senate. Several thousand solar systems have declared there are pretensions to leave the Republic. <laughs> <laughs> the separatist movement on a leadership of the mysterious Count Dooku has made it difficult for the limited number of Jedi Knights to maintain peace and order in the galaxy. <laughs> like Yoda. Senator Amadella, the former Queen of Naboo, is returning to the Galactic Senate to vote on the critical issues of creating the Army of the Republic to assist the overwhelmed Jedi. <laughs> that did sound like Yoda. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. That was brilliant. It sounded like oh, God. my eyes. It sounded like Fozzy Bear, actually. <laughs> oh, God, that hurt. That was good. No, you did that for so long as well. So, even though you just read that, I had no idea what you just said. <laughs> oh, don't say it when I'm sipping Sorry. my coffee cup. That, uh... Oh, I remember this bit. Oh no, sorry. Oh, he gave me. Oh, I thought it was Revenge of the Sith. Then. Oh, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. oh here we go. So yeah, I have no idea. Like you, you just read that crawl. No idea. Yeah. <laughs> what you were talking about? This works. This them goes straight. The think, sorry, Sam. Go on. I say the Naboo army have upgraded their uh, um, uniforms. Yeah, they've and, got rid of their A and E doctors as well. Yeah, the whole yeah. city doctors. <laughs> Train medics. But I think this one's shot on digital because I find this one, you watch number one, then we watch number two. Yeah, I think it is. It's so jarring. Like, number one still, but number one does look like a 90s, like, Star Trek TV film. That's the only way I can yeah. describe it. This one does look like a movie, but it's just so bland. It is a little like, bit jar jarring. Jar jarring. Like, I just, it's just not interesting. It's just so much going on. It's just not interesting. This is my least favorite. Star Wars, actually no, Last Jedi is my least favourite Star Wars film, but that's for different reasons. This is my second least favourite. <laughs> See, that's just all in front of a green screen. Yeah, I know. I know, that, I know that a lot of actors didn't like this one, especially because they, mm. they like, had to um, work with the, a lot of green screens instead of practical mm. sets. I'm pretty sure that bar cantina one is like one of the only ones where they built it all. You know the bit when he goes, mm, yeah. you, "You want some, you want some death sticks or whatever yeah. it is." <laughs> I don't want to buy some death sticks. I'm gonna go home and rethink my life. I saw something with Hayden Christen saying that was his favourite scene of this. Mm. Was that one because it was like an actual like made proper bar? Yeah. Oh no. She's like, I'm so sorry, milady. She said I failed you, and it's like, well, you haven't. Like you're the decoy. You died. What bits? What bits are you at, Milady? I oh, yeah. just got Milady. You're still in danger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. We're all synced up. Just making sure we're synced up. Her head of security has no depth perception because he's only got one eye. So, what do you think about the story of? What what, what is the story of this one? Like, I think. What does Count Dooku want? Let's start with that. Um. Because why does he leave the Jedi Order? Why is he with them? What does he want? Power. He gets I don't think he does, doesn't he? Oh, look at that squad! Here you got there. You got Plo Koon, Kit Fisto, oh, Kit Fisto, my boy in the back. Yeah. 
I can't remember the other girl. Kia de Mundi holding his nut in so it's all gone to his head. <laughs> the size of it. Emperor Palpatine looks a bit evil though. He's aged a bit now as well. Look well, Eva. Yeah, it's the stress of governing the Galactic Republic. It's the stress of containing it's, the dark side. In front you know, of it's, oh, you know, it's a bit like that. The job ages you, like being president. I mean, look at the stress on him. Yeah, a real Barack Trump Obama. Trump looks often, yeah, but like Trump at the moment, he looks better at the moment. He's not dying his hair. You know, it looks grey at the moment. Yeah, he looks all right when he starts to make himself look younger. He looks horrible. I'm taking note, Yoda. I think Yoda, yeah, Yoda should have that little bleach blonde look. He does have a bit of a Trump hairstyle going on, like a thinning. It's like thinning and it's like quaffed back. Yeah. Look at oh, his hair. I can't wait to have Palpatine's hair like that. I'm going to do that. So Jar Jar is back, but he's oh. significantly reduced. Good Yoda, nice. So we've got a lot to talk about Yoda in this film. Oh, it's at the just end. Like- I just talk to him like that. <laughs> that mate in the background, look, see, see what they're selling in the horns, just like just wandering around just by the furniture a lot. Oh, there he is, yeah. His first, <laughs> his first minister. Is he a twink clerk or whatever they're called? <laughs> a twink clerk. <laughs> he's got really weird hair in this. See, he's got a bit of a Trump hairstyle going on there. I like um, Mace Windu's proper introduction to this. Obviously, we saw him in the first one, but like he's quite heavily featured in this one. He's still wasted, though. Mm. Like he is a cool character. Like just the way he's like the action guy. But look at his drip. He's got that Kanye vibe. I love mm. Palpatine's clothes in this. That girl at the back is Rose Byrne from uh, Ins- Insidious. Yeah, I know. Yeah, this is like her first film. One of the first films. An old friend, oh, Master Kenobi. Kenobi's hair in this is awful. Do you see him now? Do it for me. <laughs> There's the first do it. Do it for me, lady. <laughs> Look at that traffic system yeah. flying. I do like <laughs> Coruscant. It's more crashes. Yeah, it's like, I do like the idea of Coruscant. Hmm. That's his um, Royal Guard as well. Do you notice yeah, that then? Yeah. They eventually the proper introduced them. Never used again. I know the, the law of them. Like they were like such good fighters. It's just not used. Like they though. could like handle themselves. Yeah. Here we go. So, Nesta first starts. introduction. See, this should just start. Star was here because like this is a completely different character to Jake Lloyd. Yeah. It's first. Yeah. What do you think introduction of the mullet? Here? What do you think of the Jedi mullet? I don't... God, that's a bad mullet, isn't it? Jack had one like that. Yeah, mine, honestly, my really? one went further down than that. But the top, you know the top? Mm. I I had that. Do you remember that time when I shaved the top? And literally, I had it shaved on the top. Yeah, I think so. What is that? Oh, look at that. There you go. Look at that swag. Why did you just like a 40-year-old Karen leaving Walmart? <laughs> look at him. Annie. Oh, Obi. Obi? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just marked again. <laughs> so they haven't seen each other for like 10 years. Yeah. Looky, looky. But it's just a bit creepy. The whole Anakin's a bit creepy in this one, isn't he? This is a Brazzers opening where she's like, You've grown. And he's like, So have you. More beautiful, I mean. Oh, God. I'm sorry, but in most of the films, the acting is horrendous. Did you see the way she just noticed him then? No, she did this. Literally, she went. Like, it's just. It's just the, the, the direction and the script and the. See, he's like, You grow more beautiful. Like, that's a. But the way they then cover it afterwards, it comes off across like really creepy. Like if they had like Anakin and Obi Wan like share a look of like embarrassment between the two, it come come off like it's but more funny. Yeah, but it just comes off as really creepy. Oh, the CGI is annoying me. Actually, the only thing yeah. that is there right now is that ch- the chairs and the table. Jar Jar's not even there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perhaps he's just not there in general. Perhaps yeah. like. No one actually notices him. It's just armoured best. The ultimate Sith Lord. Yeah. See, they're meant to be the best of friends. Like in uh, A New Hope, everyone's like, he was a good friend. Like his best friend. And they're just like bickering and arguing throughout the entirety of this film. Oh, that's the sign of a working relationship, <laughs> Why? I guess. What? See that? So he's just arguing. And they're just angry with each other all the time. He's like my very young apprentice. This is like your first uh, drip into like 
seeing Anakin's like path the slowly turning away. Mm. You see questioning the Jedi constantly, mm. just like, look, this is overkill, like You will learn your place, young one. I think that's why I feel like you should be a little bit older. They should be almost similar in age. I do not like the scripts of these films. No. I just don't like the way it's worded like the, the, that then. Maybe just your presence, the threat will be revealed. Just like George is just sitting there. Do you know who I like it. He would write I'm the, going uh, to retire. He would write the script. Like a, like a, I think he's still writing the scripts for some of these during yeah. production. Well, that's what we watched yeah. that thing, isn't it? You can see that clip of him when he's like, we should include this. There's another one where he's literally, I think it is, and he's like, take that out. Can we still take that out? Yeah. And I swear the guy's like, no. no. He's and like, he's yeah, like, oh, a... God. <laughs> I may have gone too far. <laughs> oh, I love that. Yeah, because the, the script is like, in the original Star Wars, it's like, hey, buddy, how you doing, buddy? Like, like, it's, like, it's like, you know. Hey, buddy, it's going over here, over there. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like quite pally and chubby, like, don't go too oh. cocky, kid. We're in this, it's, it's quite Shakespearean in this, like the way she's like, I must retire. Yeah. Zam. <laughs> yeah, Zam. My, my, my client, Jen Goofy. Like, see, she's a, a shapeshifter. There can why be she, no mistakes. Why does she hide her face if she's a shapeshifter? Captain Typho. Quiet as a tomb. Look at his drip. Look at that I do have the Jedi robes, actually. Mm. He looks a bit like an apprentice mage in Skyrim. <laughs> Double king. Double king. <laughs> I think it, it is the same clothes that everyone wears in New Hope. They are in number three. Yeah. There is uh, <laughs> his enchanted robes. But the thing is, how much of that was um, just, they just wanted to dress him up as like a peasant in number four. And now everyone's like, that's the official Jedi robe. Cause like, dress him up as a peasant. Yeah, because it, cause it makes sense. Because he goes into, everyone goes into hiding. Why would he still dress like a Jedi? Well, I guess he, he does have a bit of a monastic look to him, doesn't he? Maybe they were, trying, they were saying this is the original look of just like a, a farmer on Tatooine. This is what they wear. And then everyone's like, no, that's the Jedi robes. Now they all wear them. <laughs> I like some of their banter in it. Is it banter, though? <laughs> it's a little bit. This assassination attempt is the most convoluted, over-the-top thing. Make it bigger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, and then it's just, yeah. it's just yeah, the, script, the it's not Sam. It's not. They don't have good material to work with. No. That was terrible. What was he? You. It would have said on his script, "Looks confused." And he would just be like, but Jackie would have said, "Make him confused." <laughs> Make him angry. Be mindful of your thoughts, Anakin. There you go. It's a bit of spirituality for you. Mm. Yeah. At least everyone's got what, stuff. What is in the Chinese well. version? The high by what is it? What's the church they call it? Presbyterian the, church. The, the, the Presbyterian, Presbyterian church. church. That's the Jedi Council. Is Presbyterian church. <laughs> so yeah, this uh, R two's uh, watching us sleep. Why does so it puts like worms into a room to kill it? Why does it just drop a grenade? <sighs> or just shoot a rocket through the window? Use the worms. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a James Bond thing or something, isn't it? It's probably just like, can we put some more CGI in this? And they're like, like, can I sell? Can I sell these as toys? That's what he's thinking. Because this is like the wave of the CGI as well, wasn't mm. it? When people were prominently using it as well. So I think that's why in most of them they have really heavily featured. It is like, why would you use bugs? <laughs> why? Yeah, just use a, just use something better. That anyway. looks like an incredibly uncomfortable sleeping position. <laughs> just like she's in a perfume advert or something. As Sam's just upside down like a bat, like with a <laughs> pillow, like <laughs> inverted, just there. Like... <laughs> yeah, I sleep sitting up, so I don't know what you're talking about. You Sam, sleep like, like a drag king, king, don't you, Sam? Like your hands like that. Like... Sam sleeps like when you go to a castle when they've got like really small beds because they used to sleep upright with loads of cushions yeah. behind them. That's Sam sleeps. <laughs> Sam just sleeps standing <laughs> up. Just... Sam doesn't sleep, he just. <laughs> Frank Cristiano Ronaldo has like five 90 minute naps in a day and it adds up to eight hours it's really good for you. yeah it's really good for you. that's apparently a really good way to sleep a lot <laughs> got that oh, accuracy Jesus, she's like get out of my room so why does Obi-Wan do this what have you missed <laughs> <laughs> that's the end of the movie just <laughs> <laughs> 
It makes sure, it... That's ridiculous what he just mm. did there, like the script, them deciding that <laughs> you and jumps out of window and grabs or butt plug and just flies <laughs> round. It should have been I could understand him doing that if it was Anakin who did that. And Ewan was like, Oh, let me get in the car and chase him. It's horrendous. Because where's he going? He has no John idea Williams is just having an yeah. orgasm as well. They're like, make it make it clash and he just said like <laughs> smashing it. <laughs> That was a bit dodgy CG then. It looks like a 2002 oh, video oh. game. <laughs> yeah, that does look a bit like a, a Disney World where you're in yeah. the rides. 3D. Oh. Strap, it's not even a proper strap ride. up tight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Have a magical day. <laughs> We're going to defeat the dark side, aren't we, kids? And just leave it yeah. for a second for people. Just be like, yeah! And the door shuts and Anakin walks in and massacres Jedi him. Poodoo. Jedi Poodoo. So it's just stuff like that. Like it just kind of ruins the intensity of the scene. Yeah. But uh, that's another character that George can sell as a, sto- a toy. So. Yeah. <laughs> so, ha, ha. I thought this speed device was quite cool though. So why don't she just use this to shoot at Padme? That looks like Hebrew writing. It's a, mos- it's a moz in the gat, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> it's more like a musket. Yeah, it does. You only glazed him. <laughs> that recoil on it. Yeah. <laughs> Obi the dog is running. <laughs> you only grazed him. Zamzel. <laughs> Shut again. That's, do you know that's Gary Oldham? Yeah. That's yeah. nuts, that is. I can't remember. Like, it's like a few years ago I found that hmm. out. And he's in the, Wait, he does black, the voices in Black Ops as well, for some of them. Yeah, yeah. He plays a scientist in one of the ones who makes like, the chemist gas thing. That mission with yeah. the rooftops. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. What's he called? Um, Clark or something? Yeah, I think he's English. I think it's proper Gary Oldman doing his original voice. Yeah. But have you not seen him? Oh, look at that! George loved that. Yes, I've seen him. Yeah, yeah when he's doing talk about, it, and he just like, on the ledge, and he does yeah. Is this a uh, speeder bike thing? Looks like another hot rod from the fifties. See, everyone's just always putting him down. He doesn't support him. Uh, that's because he needs to be mindful. He needs to be engaged and present with his thoughts. But you can understand why Anakin gets frustrated it's... him if he's always Stop. putting him yeah. down. And... That's a very Western approach. Oh, God, here we go. Look at that. Very <laughs> Western approach. Yeah, it's a very Western approach, which is like, you have to be the best. I'm, not... <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about spirituality, Jack. Mm. Not, uh, not economic theories. Look, he's laughing. Pull up, Anakin. Yeah. Pull out. Pull out, Anakin. <laughs> You're close. Pull out. <laughs> That's that scene ruined for me now. <laughs> both look at their faces and when they're saying it as well. They're both like, oh, oh. <laughs> Suicide. It is a very long chase. It's almost like uh, George is trying to outdo Ridley Scott this the Blade is, Runner know, or something. Th- no, this is the, this is a nod to it. I'm almost certain that you see that shot then, yeah, mm. when it shows you the beginning of the Blade Runner when it's coming through. Mm. That literally looked like it if you take it back. I've never seen Blade Runner, but I know it looks like this. You've never seen Blade Runner, and it's you haven't moment. seen Blade Runner t- uh, 2049 either. No. Oh, we should do Blade Runner. Is very good. I've not seen Blade Runner. Yeah, well, I didn't. That's why I didn't ask you about Sam because I knew it wasn't Shrek, some old World War One film, or you know, the, the Jesus Donkey film or something. Yeah. <laughs> what Jesus what? Donkey film? I don't know, a film about a donkey that Jesus buys and follows him around. <laughs> I need a hero come on the radio today, and I was just like, oh, it's just Shrek two in it. Yeah, uh, uh, I need a hero. <laughs> I do like oh, this scene, when it goes into the tunnel, and it's like that music, oh, yeah. like wow. That cool. oh, on a joke. <laughs> Just smashes into a wall. Da, 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 da. Yeah. It wasn't a shortcut. <laughs> a great shortcut, Anakin. If you can just fly anywhere, oh, if you go up, you can just fly anywhere. Would you live on Coruscant, Sam, or was it too? Nah, too too busy for my liking. Mm. Sam would be in Tatooine, just like shoveling sand and just caring to like two alien chickens all day, wouldn't you? And being blessed. Yeah. Sounds like Endor, civilizing the Ewoks. <laughs> I'll, I'll be in Dagobah. I have you know. heard the good word of I the could... Lord? And they just all there like. <laughs> they tie him up, tie him up and, up. <laughs> and eat him. Run a train on There's him. There's pretty like, dark connotations in that scene. It's like the Ewoks going to cook Luke and eat him. Yeah. Should have done. Oh. 
should have done. Oh, it's just oh, so stupid. <laughs> Sorry, that would have took his arms off. It would have. <laughs> crossed his ribs. Yeah, it's just, you know what I mean? It makes no sense in this, you know what I mean? Mm. In a lot of them, like, this is a really long there's no scene. physics in it. They, sometimes mm. they can jump off stuff, sometimes they get thrown off stuff and die. Sometimes it's just. Sometimes they use their speed run, sometimes they don't. Yeah. Sp- specifically in corridors that are divided up, they don't use it then. And it's a really long scene, isn't it? It's just, yeah, it's, mm. how long has this been going on for? Come on, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 2 hours? I don't know. Well, it's 2 hours, 20 minutes. You could easily cut the runtime by 20 minutes if you cut out just, like, this scene, the the worst scene in Star Wars, which is the robot factory scene in this film. If you cut all that out, or at least significantly reduce it, just the runtime is... <laughs> oh, look at this. Look. <laughs> what is this? Jedi powers. Oh, I'm starting to get annoyed now already. Like, this is worse than the first one. Do you see the way that like, he let go of the um, his uh, lightsaber as well? He was sort of like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at the way that like, Obi's his face, the way he's leaning that then. He was like... Do you have his arm on the thing just like that? <laughs> he's, he's with your chick, just riding with her. He's got Padme in the side seat. <laughs> I, I like this bit here. Like, I want to be here. And see, look, that's like, on the streets. They've actually made... This is the thing mm. I said about They've made, made all this as actual sets. Mm. Like, I'd want to be on this bit. Like, they should have done the chase here in this part. Look at all their drip. Hmm. That's never how we're going to be dressing in, like, 30, 40 years, I bet you. Really? That's how I dress now. Yeah, I reckon. That's how you dress now. Like, this chase, this just this little bit here running through the people has got so much more intensity than that chase in the sky for the last 10 minutes. Yeah. No, I'm sorry. Like, no. <laughs> that's, that's it no logical food to sorry are you no. Matt Hancock Sam no I'm not asking that question no I'm not <laughs> I'm sorry no it's a scene based on its merits okay and I think there's Sam's, some merits to it. Sam bases if this film's got on whether the people try hard when they worked hard on making it yeah they did to be fair it should be the visual effects artists you get first billing in the credits yeah these set designs are good here look these are all made hmm this bit kind of contradicts the Jedi way because he's like, when he hands him back the lightsaber, he says, "This weapon is your life." And it's like, before the Jedi were peace. They're all about peace. Yeah, that's like me going to Sam going to your church, you go to your priest, you drop your battle axe. This is your life. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess the the priest is not allocated a battle axe on his. Uh, Here we go. His oh, look at, oh, look at, oh, look, oh, look, 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 I want some ass. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Anthony Daniels and Ahmed Best have cameos in this scene. No, no makeup. <laughs> Where is? Are they all drinking? They? I hope they've all got a mm. substantial meal with them. <laughs> you know, they 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 could have that. Yeah. They probably have a roast a roast dinner or something. It's like the in between. Yeah. It's like we have three pints and three calories, please. <laughs> it is. Do you know, that's my, no, that, that, that. that scene is filmed in the pub, literally just at the end of my road. Is that actually? Yeah. 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 Black, boy. Black, is it black boy. Black boy? The black boy. What did you call it, Sam? I thought it was called. Boy. No, I thought it was. The black boy. No, I thought it was called like the black boy or something. <laughs> there is the, the black boy. You want... Hey, you want to buy some death sticks? Apparently, he's in the Matrix. Oh, he's like, you want to come home with me? Yeah. You're going to do anything I say. He's like, I'm going to go home with you. <laughs> oh, we get some ass. So this guy's about to jump them in the bar. Nice. I haven't yet seen Anthony Daniels and Armored Best. Oh, he's going to start grinding on Anakin and getting really close to him. Like, hey, baby, where you from? Look, they go off. It is good, this scene. It's so sleazy, isn't it? Like, yeah, it is. This is what we love. It's so practical and, like, it's actual sets. Although it does look... It looks too... They should be playing the game that they play in number four on the computer on the in the Millennium Falcon, like that chess game. Are we about to get the... Wap, wap pistol? Oh, wow. Oh. Look at that. See that back? Oh! <laughs> that's armored. That's, that's armored. That's Jar Jar. Yeah. Why Daniels? did she not just shoot him? That was Anthony just... Daniels. You not yeah, see you it? missed him. Yeah. Oh, I saw armored burst, but I didn't see Anthony Daniels. Easy Jedi business. <laughs> Go back to your drinks. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, though, if you got your arm cut off by a lightsaber, it cauterized it instantly. You'd be fine, wouldn't you? Yeah. You wouldn't be like this. Oh, oh. So Anakin getting angry. <laughs> Jango Fit! So he's like, there he is, chase him. 
You just chased her for about 20 minutes. <laughs> God, that's awful. Make it CGI. That was awful. It's just horrible, isn't it? Like, that's an all right scene. Then he just like throw CGI on it. I think it was because it was the trend at the time as well. Yeah, like, all of the films that's were doing right. it, so he just like throw as much in as possible. But it just that didn't work. She should have just died. It's because it's, it's easy and cheap. Yeah, is that? But it mean, wasn't cheap. I mean, why did like, she could have just died did... then? You know what I mean? No, yeah, like it's just why did she turn into ET? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> She's a shapeshifter. But why didn't they chase Django first? But they chased her for ages. Oh, they, yeah. they saw the actual bounty hunter. Look at that one in the back. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see him again after this. Oh, movie, that guy. He's yeah. useless. That guy in between them. You not know having. <laughs> he just gets shot by Jango. His face there. was just like. He looks like a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. Try to sound a Taurus Rex or something. A Tory Rex. <laughs> a Jedi Saurus. Oh, Jedi Saurus Rex. <laughs> Yoda looks a bit janky as well. Doesn't he? His movement. It's a bit it's like mm. missing a couple of frames. Yeah. Oh, so it's just the compositing. <laughs> a... It just looks like a cutscene. Like how boring was that last three seconds? Yeah. I would have cut that. Cut it. So the shots are establishing shot, shot. Reverse shot. Wait for it. Shot. Your patience has paid off. Reverse shot again. Someone walks off. This is okay. This is the formula yeah. we want. A shot. Shot. Reverse. Everything shot. CGI. Back to the person. <laughs> so it's always a, yeah. So a, sh a shot of starting the characters. A shot in front of one of the persons. Flips to the other person. Flips back to the original person. Then a shot of someone walking to do something. And you'll see that for every single scene. They could have had a side trolley on there and a tracking shot with them mm. walking. It would have just made it better. Like it's just so still and just like. I just had them doing something. That look, looks like it, my office. Look, 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 it just looks like wandering about, doesn't it? Look, it just genuinely looks like George just oh, like this is the you're in a scene. room and they're just like just walk. You know, look, <laughs> that is look at oh. See look at the background. It's meant to be this grand hall. It's like imagine, <laughs> this, imagine Lord of the Rings, the first one, when they go into Minas Tirith and they're in the hall and it looked like this. Yeah. There's some dodgy bend in those um <laughs> things in the background. <laughs> yeah. It just looks It just looks terrible. This it is the worst CG good. scene, I think, this scene here. It looks like a video. No, game. I I didn't like the last one in the Phantom Menace when they're fighting in the field because you could just see oh, there's yeah. nothing looked real in that. Nothing. Because nothing was real. There was mm. not one real thing. They were actually there, but the actors, but you remember when they're fighting, <laughs> you had no one who was an actual actor in that last scene. You had everyone that was the Gungans on it versus mm. the, the droid army. You know um that scene just then? YouTube, yeah, you could make that with YouTube now. Like, you put a green screen behind you, it looks like it's like some guy from YouTube, yeah. Film. yeah. But we're using we're using hindsight here to me, so honor to gape you. <laughs> we are using hindsight, but uh, even when it was released, they would have still thought it doesn't look good, yeah. Like, this came out the same year as Two Towers, but like when I saw episode three, I was like, oh my word, this. Yeah, that's the thing. I, that's a point. The good point is that I wanted to raise this at one point. These films were made for kids, and when we were kids, yeah. we do. They look good, yeah. We did enjoy them. And it goes to show that yeah. they are made for kids. They're not made for us. But Lord of the Rings was made for kids as well, a little bit. Like, that wasn't. Yeah. I think that more. It sounds more from Peter Jackson's do it yourself attitude to filming when he was young, when he used to make films, when he was on low budgets. So, yeah. And then he had this huge budget. He probably thought, well, what can I do with all these practical skills that I've learned? And I don't see a wedding workshop. <laughs> see those droids at the window. She's like, are they fucking not to peeking again? in? Yeah. Like, she's <laughs> trying to get changed, and they're just there, like, yes. At least in this it. in this scene, that someone's doing something. Like Padme's packing a suitcase. Like they're not just sitting there talking. Well, she's probably thinking, Anakin, we just stop moaning. Just get over and take me on the bed, and then she's just there, like. I want to be as powerful as Plo Koon, just like in the corner, like a little emo. I want to be as powerful as Plo Koon. To be as powerful as Plo Koon. <laughs> He's underrated, Plo Koon. Who's your favourite secondary Jedi? Mine's Ki Adimundi. Yeah, I like Ki Adimundi. Uh, I like Kit Fisto. Yeah. He never him, listens. They don't call him Kit Fisto. They should send that Padme over Kit Fisto. <laughs> He's the only one that holds his own against Palpatine, bar like him do. Because yeah. they all just land, they all get to him, and then he just has one like power, and he's like, and he just gets slashed just in the stomach. In the oh, oh, he gets hit. Mm. 
I can't wait for that scene. No, I know. I think that's the best scene in the whole prequels. Yes. I am. Just his face around it. <laughs> goes back in with the strikes. <laughs> what happens oh. when you don't eat fresh salmon? You grow old. What? <laughs> I mean, what? Are you, are you delirious? Was that a line I just missed from the film or something? Oh, no, I was, just, I was being serious. You know, if you don't eat like fresh food, you end up. So, <laughs> what's happening? What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> are saying... you doing a pitch? <laughs> so, no, so, no, just, so is sponsored... this pyramid selling? <laughs> this is a pyramid scheme. Sounds sponsored by John West this day. <laughs> this <laughs> a pyramid scheme. You need some supplements. No, I'm just, I'm just saying. You know, perhaps if well, if you don't take your alpha brain, you're going to die. <laughs> No, but you know, like you're we were talking, talking about, about Trump uh, saying you're talking about Pal- Palpatine. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's perhaps he's on a diet at McDonald's like Trump is. Oh my god! So he needs he, he needs some fresh food, you know. Hmm. <laughs> so Padme's meant to be on the run, and she's dressed like that. She's meant to be in. Yeah, it's just ridiculous, isn't it? Anakin's but got like you know? a dirty bedsheet on. And Padme's <laughs> dressed like that. Look, he's got like stains all over it. They're going in as refugee. Well, yeah, I see. I mean, you wouldn't know, really, would you? Like, well, he looks like a refugee, and she looks. I like... don't know. She, yeah, she looks like she's like dolled up to the nines, about to go out for a fancy dinner. She looks like an Aztec god. And then why would you send oh, them to? And they always think Anakin's like dangerous. So why do they send him on this trusted mission? See, look, oh, look at that. Look, she's like. <laughs> neither, look at his face. Of them, neither of them trusted them. So why would they think give it's him, a good idea? Give him an eye patch. Yeah. Give him a good... <laughs> there you go, flying off in the, uh, the spaceship. To be honest, that doesn't look that bad, that CG. It looks okay. Yeah, uh, that's what you'd expect for a sci-fi movie. Oh, here we go. He's going to go get a sloppy Joe. Yeah, I know, from the his 50s favorite, diner. His favourite bar and dine. It's like uh, Sim City when you've got like, the really... It is like Sim City. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Obi-Wan. Hello, Dex. <laughs> Hello, Dex. Hello, Dex. <laughs> this should be like a he should be like a really like a Cockney rebel guy. I think he's definitely a little bit autistic in this. Who Obi Wan? Yeah. What about in the third one? He's like that. He's all all hand, he's when he has his lightsaber, to grieve us. It's just randomly just putting his hands up. Like... <laughs> he is like. <laughs> See, why is this 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 bit that's really bad? He looks really bad. I was watching yeah, the video and they said that this guy is modelled on George Lucas. <laughs> I didn't well, notice. What do you know? He's got I didn't moustache. notice it. I was going to say, I didn't notice he had a moustache. He's got a proper Joseph Stalin moustache going on there. <laughs> Joseph Stalin. See, this scene would be like, it's a 50s diner in Star Wars, and the, the robot is dressed like a 50s diner waitress. I'm surprised he didn't get a milkshake or something. Or... A cup of Jawa juice. Yeah, the CGI Jawa is juice. dreadful. But mm. why does this guy who runs a diner know about these darts? Like, what's the backstory yeah, over here? There? If he was like, if Obi Wan like went down to the street level of Coruscant, went into a, like a dark alley, and he had like an informant there, he was kind of like, you know, his face. It would make sense. Camino, cloners. This is just George Lucas, like, just loving the fifties. Yeah. Or Sebulba in the back. Oh, yeah. That's strut. So what do you think of this, the prequels in general, Sam? Because every time me and Jack criticise it, you're always like, no, it's... Oh, well, I, quite, I quite like them, but uh, it might change by the end. <laughs> I think you're, you're the I same think episode me. three, I'll, yeah, yeah, I think I'll always like episode three. I but, do, I still like that. I mean, I'd never noticed this guy had a moustache. I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I never realised how Watto had such a stubbly chin. Yeah. Until I saw it last week. Yeah. I like if it's this. It's not there, it doesn't exist. <laughs> I like this set. I think this is really cool. There's a, a mission. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I can't remember which game it is. One of the Star Wars games, but you have a Star fight Wars in this Battlefront. Room. It's the first yeah. one, Battlefront 2, and you've got to destroy was, all the archives um, in the start of the Jedi's. It's either Force Awakens, not Force Awakens, Force Unleashed, or the Revenge of the Sith video game, but you could throw people this through Revenge those, of the um, Sith. Video yeah, game. You, have, you have a fight in this room and you could throw you could do the it Jedi in Star Wars Battlefront it. as well you remember the first yeah. one or I think it was the second one actually it was the second one yeah. you could do it yeah but yeah you could like force throw people through these library walls there's no one there do you know how she dies 
Juice gets impaled by Anakin. <laughs> well, she might have been on annual leave that day. If an know. item does not appear in our records, it does not exist. Who's this guy? <laughs> oh, he holds his own in some of the extended edition. He holds <laughs> his own against some of them, doesn't he? How would you uh, know that's, that's the same guy? <laughs> that's the same child actor. Is it? I thought that was George Lucas's son, that person. That's really? Not the same. In what? the third one, he does the I front flip over. He's like, time for you to leave, sir. Oh, yeah. There's nothing going on here. What? No, 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 not that not that bit. There's another bit when uh, there's a kid fighting some of them. I can't remember what bit it is. I oh, know that bit, and then he gets away, mm. doesn't he? Just on the thingy, and they start shooting. Not that bit, it's he another dies, bit. dies, yeah. I love how when R2 spoke, it said that my um, subtitle was Raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> So what? Mine said chirping. <laughs> chirping. See, look, you've got like you've gone to the camping shop to get that bottle in the cup bottom. Mm-hmm. I like how there was like no droids. It's like, what well, do a lot of droids come in and ask for food? Yeah. Yep. So she's still not. Um, so that's covered, this is him basically saying he can't have proper sex, but he can have anal with her. Basically, that's what he's saying. He's like, I can't like fully commit. You know, I've still got to be. You know, mm. am I right, Sam? That's how it is, isn't it? No, no, <laughs> no. no. She's still no. In the same costume. She's like, okay, I'm gonna go on the cover. I'll push a veil over my crown. Oh, look at that guy in the How'd back. He's like a duck. Well, just look at that. Fucking hell. There he is. It's the one who just gets absolutely killed in about five. There's Ali Sakura. Oh he's yeah. Got a bit of- this scene here is the equivalent of uh, five-year-olds on a shooting range of AR-15s. Yeah. <laughs> Young legs. You see one of them, then, it was proper, like, oh, nearly slipped and, like... Oh, poor kid in the middle. Hello. It's such a small room as well, though. They could easily kill each other. Yeah. Look at the kid at the back playing with his lightsaber, like, looking down it. That's probably what they do. It's probably a system to, like, you know, Weed out whittle there. down the weak, you know, like, so... <laughs> Five of them have died today in this your, class. Your son impaled himself in the face. How embarrassing. There's, mm. a, there's someone in Star Wars called Liam. Liam, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yoda saying that's, Liam. That was, a butt, that was a little butt ball then. You know, the little butt beads. <laughs> Obi puts it out his pocket. Master, because someone that raised it from the archive's memory. See the kid pointing his lights over at Yoda. Why would you have switched it on? <laughs> <laughs> the Sith are among us. <laughs> he just says, start slaughtering them all. Ho 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 ho. Like Master Yoda's gone mad. Liam's gone mad, yeah. <laughs> Liam. <laughs> Liam. <laughs> Liam, you were the chosen one. <laughs> Everyone's a chosen one. And at the end of Geonosis, Yoda every time a Jedi chuckles. dies. I love that. Every time a child dies, a, G- a child dies. Every time a Jedi dies, a Jedi knows. Child dies. In the distance. You are the child. Every one. ten seconds, a child dies. Every ten seconds, a child Jedi dies because they turn their lightsaber on in their face. I'm pretty sure there's a Jedi called Addy Galler as well. I don't know which one that is. Shark T, no Shark T. Yeah, yeah. Shark the red tea. one. Sh- there's a little baby Shark T in the background. Uh-huh. Obviously, Grievous Shark- kills. Her. I don't know in the extended. In the Force Unleashed, the, uh, you kill her. Sir, meditate on this. Meditate. So that's what you should be doing, just meditating all the time. He lives a good life. <laughs> See, this is like... That's what, that's what I do when people ask me about if I've done an assignment. I'm like, mm. Medita- no. meditate, meditate on this I will <laughs> so she needs to go into hiding so they send her back to her house back to, N- to Naboo yeah they send her to Naboo. her home Naboo is uh, it looks like it's undergone a reconstruction project from the last movie yeah. oh, so that's how R2-D2 gets upstairs do you see that no they've gone to Italy <laughs> and he's, he's saying it openly like you were queen weren't you yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was I was the youngest queen <laughs> Let's grill this, so I think it looks good. Doesn't it? It looks so much better. Like the it shadows like on the... Venice. Yeah, yeah, it's just... they got a bit of CG in the back, you can see, but... It's R2 a bit CG, though. Yeah, of course yeah, it is. It's mm. very CG. 
They see Jim quite a lot mm. in there. This looks like my uni. Oh, there it is. See people. There hasn't been a whole scale bar. That's the new queen. Was she in Holby? Pro- most likely. So he's, he's having the Anakin's having a meeting with the queen, and he's wearing his dirty poncho. <laughs> Yeah, we haven't seen Viceroy yet, have we? No, oh, seen... they'll be come back soon. We haven't seen any of the separate. We haven't seen any bad guy yet. I don't think have we? Fuck well, well Jango Fett's just the a man trying to make his way in the world. So, just a man <laughs> trying to make my way in the world. I've been a man on the moon of Tyrannus. Oh yeah. Awesome, Jedi. So he's just like getting put down all the time, isn't he? And just like jet. interrupting <laughs> her. still a power one. God, what a fucking put down then. You hear mm. that? He's constantly getting... No wonder he went, went to the dark side. Oh, he's not a Jedi yet. Like, I'll just be like, me. shut your mouth. To put out a laser sword. <laughs> like Use my knowledge. <laughs> see that acting? You see that acting there? You see that? He literally's like that, look. What do you think Sorry, of Hayden? Lady. Hayden Sorry, Christian lady. Sutter's Anakin. What do you think? Iconic. <laughs> Seriously though. Oh I love I had the toy. Iconic. I had the toy of that Starfighter. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had that as well. I did, I... We, we, we we provided for George. Hmm. We most it's certainly did. yeah. I paid for Skywalker Ranch. Yep. That's I, the one thing I did have I had tons of because I love these films so much when I was younger, I had tons of toys from these three films. Yeah. My favourite is still the Obi Wan from number three. I think goodness. for one of my birthdays, I can't remember what one it was, I woke up and on all the steps, you know, like coming down, I had the Hasbro, you know, the line, like the little uh, six inch figures. I had like every single one in the line released, Gosh. like all the Jedi, all the thingy. Wow. You probably got more than me then. Yeah, I, I did have a lot of those mm. ones. I'll buy them off you. <laughs> Long neck guy. This scene just hurts my eyes. It so actually bright. does. Like, Jack, your screen's like, you're, you got suddenly brighter. <laughs> I'm, I'm holy. I, I, am God. I am God. Yeah, so uh, what, do you, what do you think of Hayden Christensen? Actually, no, there's no, let's talk about this bit. So what... <laughs> Is there much to talk about this bit? Well, Is this natural oh, what's happening, oh, Sam? That, what are they really... doing here, Sam? Is this natural what's going on in this facility? <laughs> This is cloning. Is any of this natural? Mayo presents La Mazuma. Look at that. (laughs) So the... You can't stop. And this is Master Jedi, Obi-Wan Kenobi. La Masu, I think, is probably one of my favourite characters in this series. (laughs) You're built built like her, Sam. I think Sam's just trolling. Sam's the most... La Masu is the Prime Minister. I don't know who this lady is. Sam's the troll we've been looking for all these years. So this the, the the I heard someone say the modern day equivalent of this is like, I don't know Matt Hancock turning up to Boris Johnson saying I just went to Indonesia and there's an army of two million killer soldiers that someone invoked your name to make do you want them and in Indonesia going, yeah. well you know just like somewhere far away there's David like a... Cameron asked me <laughs> yeah. right but David Cameron who's he someone invoked the name of John Major He's killed almost ten years ago David Cameron was ejected from office six years ago. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher died almost seven years ago. <laughs> the army? Yeah, so you know what I mean? Like, it's like someone yeah. turning up one day to the British army saying they've got a ton of death kids. 200,000 men for you. Yeah. Do you want them? Or, a, you know, a briefcase full of bloodstone, bloodstone money. And they I love how well. this, the Prime Minister's just given away everything as well. It's like, yeah, it's... Which was the Jedi, isn't it? So for, if he's a Jedi... Master Cypher Dias is a Jedi. A.K.A. Palpatine. Yeah. But I mean, what's the legal structure of Camino? I mean, they've got a Prime Minister, so they must have a Parliament. Hmm. The Lama Sioux Party. So look at this. This is, like a, this is like a Disney ride, doesn't it? You get in the boat. Yeah, look, but it's, it's all good. Look, but it's all practical. Look, it just looks better, doesn't it? Look, it just does with proper sets. Like, even at making that little boat, mm. you could tell he was so reluctant. He's like, CG the boat. <laughs> oh, My this... cast bar, but it will look better. 
<laughs> he probably just bought a kayak of Eva and just stuck some polystyrene. See, this is so, so nice. Look at beautiful flowers. Look at that. That's mm. that's, that's that's real yeah, set sand. Look at those beautiful mountain sand. I, I, I just love hate, it. Yeah, come I on. Hate these scenes. Like, come on, glory. Come on, <laughs> glory. Preach I just, it. I just hate these scenes. Preach though. it. Oh, here we go. I don't <laughs> like sand. You know, in real life, if he said this whole spiel about hating sand, Padme would be like, I like sand. And he'd be like, oh. So do I. I like sand. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, so do I, you know. Just that's the script, isn't it? That's just what I'm talking about. Mm. Just, George, just, I like sand. Look at this. What are you doing? So this is the reason why Sam's still single, because he thinks this is how you talk to girls. <laughs> what? <laughs> look, and looks at him like that as well, like stroking him like that, like... <laughs> Jeez. What is bad? Look, look, oh, look. No. <laughs> that twitch. Look, look. That is. Oh. The thing is, though, when I watch this, like Natalie Portman's such a like a really good actress. So I think, what is she thinking when she's doing this? But the it's, thing is, she doesn't give me the impression of being a good actress in in these films. So no I know she's in other films. I think doesn't. she is. She held that bit really good then, of like mm. wanting him to kiss her. But it was just how he was acting, just so like. Mm. With his hand like that, and then he just starts touching her back. <laughs> I'm so glad to see him like that, Jack. <laughs> That's on the internet now forever. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Eddie me doing that into his face. I do think this is cool, though. Like, if it wasn't CG and was real, and it was like loads of like, oh, none of this is so natural. Good. What is these test tube yeah, babies? I'm not, not having this. And this sped is up. Is Death Stranding? Will showing his liberal colours. Who, me? Yeah. What? Proving this cloning. They've got, like, speeding, um, what's it? Youth, yeah, growth acceleration. Jesus. These people are actually being bred to murder. Yeah. Mm. There we go. They meant to be teenagers, those ones. They looked about 30. Four. They te- I thought they were all adults. Because so. not, that's not the actor who plays Tamara Morrison. No, no, it's a, it's a, yeah. yeah. It's, I'd say they're in like, their 20s, those mm. ones. Surely that's prime age then. That's peak age. <laughs> yeah, Why do they prime, want them to prime be age. The same age as Tamara Morrison. It was like 40 when this was made. Um... Uh, what was I going to say? Okay, the background. And I want to, to clone for himself. Yeah. In in the um ones after episode six, the clones don't. They're not um. They're not. All, they're not clones, are they? They're actually no, individual. Yeah. They're conscripted. Like, yeah, they're yeah. actual soldiers. Well, in yeah. number, number six, you see some stormtroopers with their helmets taken off, and they just look like people. Yeah. So yeah, when, when do the, the clones? That, yeah. When do you think the clones stopped? And they just, and this empire started recruiting people. I think there is in some of the lore of it, there is an actual thing where they talk about them dying off or like... Mm. Just stop making noise. I can't remember. Yeah, yeah it is. Crew. That's basically it. Dun, 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 good dun. drill. It is, yeah. Oh, these weird like, ticks in the background. Those aren't real, by the way, Sam, those waterfalls. Yeah, they are CG, but that's done okay-ish. That's not that yeah. bad, actually, to be honest. It's just, it looks good, but it's it's just the scene. It's because it looks it's good when you have a practical, scene. when you actually have, like, real, like, they're actually using real, like, ground and that, and then it blends into it a little bit. That's mm. when CGI works good. It's not good when it's just, like, everywhere and they're standing on it. Like they're on the blue that was That was filmed in uh, Queen's Park, this bit. Really? <laughs> Where's Queen's Park? Near you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm stomping ground where we yeah. throw hands and oh. start throw knuckles. <laughs> what it, Sam? We just play football there. I don't know what this throwing hands is all about. Oh, okay, this is where um, Anakin discusses his fascist tendencies. Yeah. To prove he's evil. And she's all about democracy and Equality. <laughs> yeah, he's like someone will make them. But it is eventually him in the next, mm. in the uh, original three. In the original okay. ones, though, in like A New Hope, Darth Vader doesn't come across as like the supreme lord. Like all the uh, generals, like belittle him, don't they? In the conference room, they're all like saying, yeah. your, "Your ancient religion is outdated," and then he just chokes him. 
Like, yeah, how does that? Do you think that guy is Darth Vader, Sam? When you look at him, do you think you can believe him turning into Darth Vader? Not really. No. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have thought that certainly in the last film either. Mm. Yeah, that's the oh. thing. Like, he should be like a. He shouldn't be handsome. He should just be like a oh, guy. Oh God! Make him, make him ride it. <laughs> what even is that thing? I mean, I don't even know. Yeah, they have those in bars in like Ibiza outside the things, don't they? You just ride them. What? Mechanical what? balls. <laughs> Oh, we meant those actual things. <laughs> George Lucas paid for them to be actually genetically modified and made in a lab. I this want is... one in my back garden. <laughs> this is my pet. <laughs> I love it. So how is that funny? So she was like, no, we shouldn't do it. And then they're frolicking, literally frolicking in a there field. There we go. Oh, this is... Nearly went brazzers and it cut away. I thought Avatar. Cringe. Jesus Christ! What even is George's son? They could fly out. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> like, it's just, it's just pointless. That's pointless. Mm. It's it doesn't really look shot. good. It doesn't look good. You, you know, ask... I don't mind the sh- they should just show it like that. That looks better without having that weird thing flying, like riding it from mm. the water, wearing no clothes. Well, I, think it's, I think it's trying to demonstrate that it's not really human like us, is it? It's, it's mm. deliberately out of this but, world. Yeah, but I think you can see it from that facility alone. Hello, Boston Jedi. Was it Jedi? That, is it hello? That kid's probably our age now. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. Well, he's probably about 10 there, isn't he? So he's 92. So he's probably almost 30. <laughs> Which said he's 92. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Aging acceleration. So yeah. they're, they're cloning him. He's got this tiny apartment. You can see his armor in the back there. Yeah. It? yeah. And that's Make the armor visible. That's, that's Boba Fett, the kid. Like, yeah. Why? Why not? It's just they've always got to like tie everything up together. I'm just a simple man. With simple pleasures. There we go. Have any of you watched The Mandalorian? No. We should have just good. Because apparently um, these two aren't meant to be Mandalorians. They meant to have just like taken the armor and pretended to be Mandalorians. So is that race Mandalorian? Mandalorians are the people who wear that armor. Oh. Yeah. But um, And they live by like a creed. Mm. Oh, so they're like an actual group. They're like a Jedi so group. They're like the Jedi's, but um Have you seen um the Mandalorian well? Just ask that, Jack. <laughs> I, d- I didn't hear you say it, if you did or not. <laughs> no, I have, yeah. I've seen it. You have? I've yeah. seen what you are you watching the second season? I am, yeah. Oh, I haven't seen any. Don't say anything about the second okay. season. I was, say, yeah. I was going to. Nah, don't, because I want to watch it. I haven't seen any yeah, it's good. I like how now we're not actually talking about the film either. <laughs> the, we are, just, we're talking we're talking I, I about Tony said it because of because of the armour. I was like, oh But like in the first one we kept diverse, diverging from it's the film. Nothing interesting is happening. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> If she's got no dumper on her, look. <laughs> what? what kind of, where'd you learn this language? <laughs> no dumper. She hasn't. We're leaving. I like a scar that's like a cross. Yeah. Pretty sure the scar's just a holy added. man. Yeah. Now we're back in Italy. <laughs> oh, God. They just eat, like, fruit, don't they? And he eats a pear with a knife and fork. <laughs> Come sing me a song, Master yeah. Jedi. Give me stun shadow. <laughs> Look how much they're eating. She's got a, a, a pear on a plate. <laughs> and she's like, well, that's mine. That's my pear. Yeah. He shouldn't be doing this, using his powers like this for fun, you know? Yeah. He's a little bad boy, isn't Look, he? He's a cute much... little bad boy. What do you reckon, Sam? Do you reckon she's going to gobble him up? He gives her the dirty end as well. <laughs> yeah, she's going to... A bit sexual, this is. That is quite cool. Cool. That is quite a good scene, actually. Like the way it's like Anakin. How did she get her fork into it like that? (laughs) (laughs) He's gonna get his fork into her, Sam. Am I right? eh? This is a bit jarring. This bit. They just gone from. Can I get an amen? This is a kids movie. There might be children watching this. Yes, Sam. It's it's a. It's a kids' movie that involves decapitation, romance, yeah, Sam. infanticide, genocide. Well, we were talking about murder. it. Being, we, we were saying about well, it being yeah. a kids' movie. Yeah. It's kicking off. But it's, a kids, kicking off. it's still a kids' movie, but it's, it's a kids' movie that involves all I, those I, things. 
I put it to you, sir. <laughs> it is a kids movie, it definitely is. It is but, a kids movie, <laughs> but it still contains infanticide, genocide. This is mass a beautiful murder. scene of just sexual lust and power no, coming it's, the both it's, of them. It's demonstrated. It Look, he can't breathe without her. He needs her, Sam. He needs yeah, to feel it's, her. It's, it's demonstrating the power of lust and the yeah. That's what I'm does. just. What did I just say? Are yeah, you just but, are you? Like, what are you smoking? Yeah, but you said that you make it uh, as if it's a positive thing. I'm saying actually, <laughs> the course of the Jedi, it's a very negative thing. It's you know, it's destroying his vocation. Look what it's doing to him. He tormenting loves him. it. Look, no, it's tormenting him. It's causing him no, it's not. stress and strain. No, he's teasing. He wants it, and she <laughs> wants it too, Sam. Look, and I think they're both going to get what they want, don't you, Sam? No, because it all ends in tears in the end, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. all that happens. It all yeah. just ends in tears. Ends you just as a story, a Sam. You could, could, you could conduct this story at seven, yeah. Look what happened to them, eh? They one, wanted to sin. And one became a <laughs> Darth Vader, the other one died. Well, no, it's just saying, you know, it, 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 lust is a very powerful thing and you have to be, be mindful, Obi Wan. Um, well, um, think... uh, <laughs> 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 it just sounds turned into like Yoda. <laughs> Sam was. I don't think it's lust. I think it's meant to be love, but it's just done so badly. Yeah, it's love done. Who wrong. knows what it is? It's George doing whatever he wants mm. with the script. It and could be anything. And it's done in the dark a... room with fire and lots of reds. He, I think he was a Methodist, George Lucas. So. I don't know what this could. This, this could be about the COVID tier systems. We don't have a clue what it is. You know, it could just be anything. It could, this dialogue does show that George knows absolutely nothing about women. Yeah, of course not. Your skin is soft and smooth like milkshakes. I will not give in to this. He just whips out his lightsaber. And not the so weapon. Walk Where? slightly away and then turn. <laughs> no, do it again, Annie. <laughs> yeah, so what do we think? she's wearing. George is like, I want leather and I want a strip down the middle. And like a little collar as well. It's a headband. But we do. I just thought, are we doing like a George Lucas appreciation model or something? Because we're watching Indiana Jones and Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Well, they're just my favourite films, aren't they? So, As much as I criticise George Lucas, he, I have always said he is a good storyteller. He is a good creator. And he's an excellent businessman. That's all that matters in today's world, as long as you're a good businessman. That beat would be, be, just annoy me. I mean... Uh... Her eyes are like universes. Why she rub her neck? Does it hurt? Make, make them rub her neck. <laughs> Probably. I've got an itch. Make the neck hurt. Yeah. <laughs> you never know. That might be like the location of her brain or something. <laughs> Rubs their brain. <laughs> Knowing George, it probably is. Yeah. Care of the old folks home. It's just what is going on with George? It's just what is going on with George? <laughs> Scrambling to the care of the old folks home. This is it. It's a retired, the home for a retired Jedi. Yeah. What did he say? It's like Grandpa in The Simpsons. Yeah. Come on, boy, sort yourself out. Now I'm imagining a retirement home for Jedis. I'm sure there's a um, series to be made out of that. Yeah. We should send it to George and he'll be yeah. like, yeah. George make him, make George. a series. <laughs> make him old. There's, George has no say in Star Wars anymore. Yeah, he don't want they've gave him billions just to leave. Four billion dollars. Well, send, send it to Mickey Mouse then. <laughs> I like Mickey Mouse oh, in Star idea. Wars He's, oh, in South oh, Park. Oh, oh, good idea, Will. <laughs> Goddamn George is first. <laughs> So Obi Wan just told them someone's been invoking the Jedi name for ten years to build a clone army, and they're like, "Should we investigate it?" No, nah. Someone's just taking the clout of the Jedi and promoting themselves. <laughs> they didn't even at us. <laughs> yeah, we're... well, then you're pretty useless, then, aren't you? Do you just how useless they are? They're just like. The Sith has clouded our judgment. To what? Just the one. Oh, we've seen a little bit of pet development there. You see, he's obviously been hitting the heavy inclines. Do you hear George a... is like, let me see Nip Nip. Do you hear Liam Neeson's voice in this bit? No, I don't think you do. You hear Liam Neeson talk um, with the when he's attacking the Tuscan Raiders. You hear like, I don't know. 
I don't I have a particularly old set of skills. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Look at that stance. <laughs> Make him power. powerful. <laughs> That's a power stance right there. It is, yeah. So, did they bang that night? No. She wasn't next no, to they him. didn't, did they? There is a scene like that in the third one. Look, look at that. That is terrible. Everything in that scene was dreadful then, the way she just walked and turned like that. Like, Why just... do you hate Padme? <laughs> no, I'd hate the, the oh. scene. <laughs> just the way everything, the way it's filmed, shot. Hmm. She's a Harvard graduate. He needs to be more mindful of his thoughts. Where he's meditating then. Yeah, exactly. Practice makes perfect, Annie. You can do it. You sound like Jar Jar, then. If you do that in Jar Jar's voice, it's something Jar Jar would say. Practice makes perfect, Annie. Jesus. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> that doesn't sound anything like Jar Jar. Yeah, that's the thing from the Rob Snyder with the water yeah. boy. You can do it. You can do it. I've not seen that. Only of course Rob, not. <laughs> only Rob Schneider film about his <laughs> is that warmers. Bull bench warmer, yeah, for bench warmers is good. I like to do bench warmers actually. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah, that's another film sound those. Mm. Navy Seals are cops. Have you seen that, Jack? I watched it around yours. It's good, isn't it? What should you? Uh-huh. So, what do you think yeah, of the, sl- the, sh- the ship? Slave. I think it's Slave One or something like that. Yeah, this is such, yeah. This is such an odd Mr. ship. Slave. <laughs> Mr. Slave. Mr. Slave. I mean, like. <laughs> The way this is piloted. Mm. Yeah, you're like, you're like upside down, aren't you, as you fly it? Oh, but... oh, 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 look at parry it. Oh, look at that. Choo, choo. We're an hour a in. Master this Swordsman. First, this is the first like proper lightsaber fight, isn't it? Ma- master Swordsman. Yeah. <laughs> master Swordsman. Laser sword. Look at this. I mean... Oh, it's just so weird, like mm. turtling. Like... In the, uh, the Mandalorian, they show you how they use that rocket. You know the little antenna cool. above him, it like flips down. And he yeah. uses it as a sight for the rocket. That's cool. Yeah, so, see, look at this. He has no idea what he's shot because he can't even see over the thing. I mean, that would kill him. Yeah. I mean, it literally just blew up in front of him. Oh, that flying kick. Oh, that teep kick. Oh, just snap his leg. He would just oh. force, surely you just use the force and crush him. Yeah, crush his helmet. Like, put, put, crush his helmet. Just lift him up or throw him against yeah. something with the force. I think I'm get a... in there, little clinch. Just one on one, little plum arm drag. I think I'm a few seconds behind you. Oh. That doesn't matter. Like, only like two or three. Like, yeah, we're fair. Obi One's just been dragged off now. Yeah, we I need this. to piss in a bit, so we're pulled. Yeah, in me too. Up. Pause at the end of the scene if you want. Yeah. Whoa, the jetpack's gone. He looks weird with oh. his jetpack, doesn't he? No, I think he looks cooler without it. No, no. Yeah. No, that's just wrong. See that wrong opinion again, Will? <laughs> How does he look cooler without? He looks like a skinny little twink. He's got that big bulky <laughs> bit in the back. He looks cool. You're wrong, Sam. No, I'm not. You are. No. Okay. No. No. Just cut it. Yeah, he does, he does cut it, doesn't he? Yeah, but there should be a quick release feature, so he should be dead by now. He can't um, reach it. He could survive if he's landed in the water. Oh, here we go. A little quick, yeah. quick hobby craft. We'll whip it up. <laughs> quick hobby craft. <laughs> quick hobby craft. His arms oh, are rubber, he's bending. Did you, did you see the way that's so like, bad? Went, the armor is just like bending, isn't it? As he's moving, horrible, absolutely horrible. And they didn't spot that either. See, that looks awful without the jetpack. Just does. Mm. Not awful, but he doesn't look as good. Or lazy. Just go up to the door and open it. I'd do that though if I had Jedi powers all the time. Just he put some effort into that mm. force thing. See, look at that. Um, that's the thing with the force. Sometimes they you have to use their hands, don't they? Sometimes they can just do it. So, did so you notice that then? Get your um, fingers. Well, on the did you pulse. see that? Django yeah. hit his head on the door yeah, coming yeah, yeah. when it came down. That's a little nod to the originals. That is. Ships coming in, boy. Yep. Here we are. Is that Tatooine, Lewis, isn't it? Was it Tatooine? Yeah. It's Tatooine. Why did they go to Tatooine again? Well, because he's worried about Shmi. Shmi. Shmi Skywalker. Shmi. Do you see a Millennium Falcon in that scene? Yes, I think so, yeah. yeah. Piloted by a two-year-old Lando. (laughs) Look at this. Look, Padme's all for, like, oh, I support the people and everything, but she always uses, like, these robot, like, chariot rider things, like, almost like a slave kind of thing. Yeah. 
driver speaking hutties. She's still in like really nice clothes as well. It's, it's so stupid. Like it's, you could tell, like he did this. It was one of those things. And they afterwards, when he sent it all out to distribute, he was like, "We probably should have put her in rags." Yeah. Like the anger. Oh, we go. Chut chut. <laughs> so he got like flies all. Yeah, he's got. And he's got a beard. And he's got a uh, World War One Tommy helmet on. Amazing. Over you go, boys. So Watto's back. Well, he needs to shave as well. Because <laughs> it just said, I'm looking for my mum. <laughs> it said, I'm, the... hmm. my name. I'm looking for Shmee's guy. Well, he could have said, I'm looking for my mum, and he could have been like, yeah. who? Who's your mum? Who yeah. are you? <laughs> oh, it's just it's horrible. Mm. What do you know? Water looks a bit better in this one, I'll give him that. He kind of looks like a painting, though. Like it's been painted. It sounds like he's a, a character out of Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> so can you help me some dead beats down the road? <laughs> So if he's like sold her, he said years ago, so it would have been within the last 10 years, why didn't he just get rid of her when Anakin went away as well? Mm. Yeah. And why did... Why did she... What did he do with the house? Was that his house? Or? Oh, yeah. yeah, I guess so, yeah. Slave quarters, isn't it, that they live in? There we go, there's Kent, Master Jedi. Ah. Master Kent. He's strong with the Force. His midichlorian count is off the chart. And what do you think about it, the fact that you, oh, we, we know who Owen and Baru are? The Lars. The Lars family are because they bought a slave. Like, it kind of... I feel like Owen should actually be... Owen. Owen should be... Uh, Owen. Owen. He should be Anakin's brother. <laughs> Suddenly he's a Catholic priest. Because <laughs> he's uh, in... um, He's in Star Wars. They're in the original Star Wars. They are theoretically the only characters who should be in this film. I'm yeah. glowing not Baru. Like if they were Anakin's he was Anakin's brother. Sam Worthington he was played by. Yeah. You know, Sam he's, Worthington. He's a, who also Joel, does the voice of Mason in Black Ops. It's Joe Edgerton. Is it? Yeah. You see him in this film. Oh it is, yeah. it is. They they're look both, similar. They're actually. just both Australian as well. They do look similar. Oh, this is the best bit You're of the film. Right. This noise. This is the best bit of the entire film. Says we charges, stand by. Isn't that so cool? Oh, wow, yeah. And then proper milk it as well. Like, you want another one? <laughs> Have some of that. Make, make the noise, John. And John's on some instrument. Yeah, just, no. like, just throws a piano out of a window. What what noise would that be? Do you reckon it's like... It's probably a drum. It's probably like a piano key, just like with loads of modulation yeah. on it. Well, that is like, <laughs> that green so screen. Really <laughs> random. Look at that. That looks like a Disney ride, Sam, where you're like, yeah. but, but not like the proper ones. It's like the ones where you're in the space shuttle. It doesn't go anywhere, but it's yeah. just a screen it's in front of you. It's moving around yeah. like that. <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> I actually thought that was him there because that was so in sync with <laughs> This is meant to be like um, Empire Strikes Back, isn't it? Is it? Is that scene where they're chasing? Oh, it looks awful. The scene yeah, is when they're chasing them through the like, asteroid field. Get him dead. Fire! <laughs> make, make the bad man fly! <laughs> I'm gonna smash his head in. <laughs> I promise to protect you, Daddy, as long as you promise to protect me. <laughs> Get pretty, the Babadook! Pretty poor aim. The thing is, though, he's hitting the ship. I, that's something I never understood about it. What, what is stop? Has he got shields up or something? Give it plot. It's got plot armor, Will. Oh. <laughs> and it's him. Was it made by Triumph? Was that what? Yeah. <laughs> Seal of approval by Jack and his uh, days building, oh, yeah, building ships. Days. Check out the rubber works on shields. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, starships. Yeah. Jedi Starfighters. Master Jack's, Destroyers. Jackson Camino in the Rubberworks factory. 
through in the armor is. for the clones, just showing at people. So oh, these helmets are not just been ordered and made over ten years. Ah, oh, yes, a triumph dart from. <laughs> Oh, what's that? What's that? So it's luggage. Yeah. It's just lunch. Jack has an order for a uh, hundred masks by Master Slave for the US. <laughs> they are coming along greatly. Aren't they magnificent? <laughs> As they're all just split. I shall take See, you like to Empire. our Prime Minister, Clive. <laughs> See, look at these little Death Star things. They, they, this like whole thing insinuates these bug people were the ones who designed the Death Star. Yeah, well, they were, weren't they? Yeah, they were, and not insinuates. They, it directly states that these bug people were the ones who designed the Death Star. Uh, they're Geonosians, aren't they? Yeah. That Archduke Poggle the Lesser. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to see? <laughs> it's, it's the, it's the one, the one, the, one, the, one say, the one with the really long tentacles. That doesn't really. Oh, he's a Geonosis one, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. The one who's like, oh, okay, really. yeah, that's a really good song, actually. <laughs> Sounds exactly like him. Archduke Poggle the Lesser. That's his palace. I don't know why they have to make him bug, just make him people. Like... Yeah, it's just again the CGI hype, isn't it? Because they're just like these mindless bugs that you just don't care about when they're getting it, attacking it, them and stuff. Uh, Archduke Poggle the Lesser you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> is he even an Archduke? Well, according to this, he is, yeah. Sounds on Wikipedia. Of course he is. No, I remember Sounds that. From, slowly dr drifting off into the shadow realm with his lighting as well, I see. I remember that from um, you know, that big book I got on episode three. Oh, yeah. It's fine, the light's fine. Yes, sir. Yeah, that's good. Oh, he's in Utah. Yeah. That's through that <laughs> ship. It would just like reflect the light everywhere. It would blind you. Surprised <laughs> it's not melting. Yeah, just melt Lars Homestead, set it on fire. <laughs> so here we are, we're back in Star Wars. Do you want me to ruin Star Wars for oh. you? Oh, look, someone's making a big appearance. You might yeah. see her. Lady doesn't normally get involved with this. Mm. Hello, my lady. <laughs> so, in uh, A New Hope, Owen Lars mm. buys R2-D2 and C-3PO. And he's like, who are you? And he's like, oh, I am C-3PO, human cyborg relations. Yeah, he owned it already. Yeah, yeah, but he's got different armour, isn't he? He's yeah, he still, gold, said, he still said his name was C-3PO. Mm. Yeah, like, but yeah. It's, not, it's not like, oh, wow, I've never been... Yeah, see what I mean? It's just like, he's, it's already in number four. So this is in there, Georgetown. He would have Perhaps. been like, in the, if it was like, this one was made first and New Hope was made after, he'd be like, oh, c 3 it's good to see you. And the robot's back as well. Oh, what's going on? This must be about your dad. We must get looped to safety, get into Obi-Wan. Is that Owen Lars there? Yeah. I like Georgetown. Have you seen, um, oh, this guy. He looks, he looks a little bit like Mark Hamill. He does, actually, yeah. Cleek Lars. See, it'd be so much cooler if that was like I don't know Anakin's dad, and Owen was Maybe his brother. It was. Owen was his brother, and um, I don't know. Like Owen doesn't like his dad because he got picked to be a Jedi, and Owen got stayed got had to stay behind to be a moisture farmer. Moisture farmer. Taking power converters to Harkey Station. She's so overdressed, isn't she? For so extra. It's just Naboo culture. Yeah. It's a very um, decadent culture, isn't it? <laughs> Surprised there isn't Naboo terrorists trying to destroy the, the decadent west of Naboo. Mm. Come here, if you want to cuddle, come here. <laughs> oh god, careful. They're not drinking blue milk, though. <laughs> Who's What cat is that? That's Annabelle. Look, it's my lady. Look, when I do that, she drops. <laughs> my lady. Give me a lick, my lady. She's got a small head. Yeah, she is. She's got little, she's got really strange little jaw as well. It's cool that they've used the practical sets from the original film. Yeah. Again, all the practical effect, uh, yeah. sets just look so much better. Mm. Poor Anakin. Annie! Do they have the twin sons in this bit? Do you just see the shadows? I can't remember. Because if you do, then that's good. Yeah, you do. See, well, fight well on, George. 
This is what happens when you use real light. Look, you not noticed that? This was done on purpose as well. He looked like Vader then. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that silhouette there, then he's mm, supposed yeah. to look like Vader. I do remember that, but I didn't see it. But Yeah, you, you did see it. It does crown oh, a little bit. George Lucas sort of successfully pulled off a metaphor. Yeah, so... This I don't know, I probably didn't mean to do it. And afterwards, they're like, that was brilliant, George. He was like, what? This is going to sound like a backhanded compliment, but the best scenes of Anakin are the scenes where he doesn't talk. Like this. Oh, yeah. Like, and the music's just blaring. And it's just his, his emotion his in his face. <laughs> like, like, there's also that scene in number three where him and Padme are looking across the city at each other just before he's about to go. Oh, no. It's more better, this music of Annabelle licking herself intensely. Oh, see, you've got uh, Anakin on like a detective bounty hunting mission. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, those little guys have massive ships for yeah, <laughs> size. Like I was gonna say something else then, Sam. <laughs> no, I said massive ships. They're meant to be like collectors, aren't they? So it's just filled with junk. Yeah, scavengers. Yeah. See, there's Obi Wan on his own, you know, just. I still don't know. Be what, mindful of your feelings. I still don't know what Count Dooku wants, though. Power. He just doesn't strike. Is he a power? Is he a power hungry person? I guess he is. Yeah. Yes. That's quite. He says. Power. He says, doesn't he? he why is, he, he says, doesn't he? Why he has <laughs> has completely like controlled him as well, like and played him. Do you think he knows that he's Palpatine? But you know the bit where uh, he he says to Obi Wan, "Yeah, join me." In my he says, doesn't he, why he wants to do it? Oh, I'll have a listen then. Oh, yes, he does. Yeah, when he's chained up, yeah, and he's yeah. got that kinky bondage gear, he do, does say to him. Do you know what he says exactly? Okay. Oh, I can't remember. I thought you just gave me a little, he, he does. Uh, he, he is right. I think he Yeah, sure he, he does say why can, he does. I think does he said that we can rule or something. Yeah, he I'm does. Sure. Uh, together we can rule the galaxy by young battle. Surely you can do better. <laughs> Must persuade the commerce. Ladies. The nine have lost minutes oh, okay. already. Oh, st he's still got the best lightsaber, his hilt. Yeah, the fencing There's... one, the rapier. Yeah. You, sir, are a rapier. The, the banking clan <laughs> will sign your treaty. <laughs> yeah. We all are you at the... your disposal, Count. <laughs> Have you seen the video, um, the... Uh... Oh, what was it called? The Techno Union, so the trade... Yeah. The trade... Yes. Oh, the yeah. Techno Federation, <laughs> whatever it is. The Techno Union. He He's the last one to get topped as well, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. He's like hiding behind a desk you... at the end, isn't he? Like... No, he's Is not that... hiding. He's just standing. He's sitting at the desk, I'm pretty sure. He's like, he, he's he's like hiding behind the chair like that. Oh, okay. Him, yeah. So it's working. Sp <laughs> it said in the thing, <laughs> speaking basic and then yeah. electronic wobbling. Clan. At your disposal. He looks like his head got squashed in between two books. There it I are. love how proud he looks afterwards. He's like, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Christopher Lee just he's still he good isn't scene. he he's still yeah. good he's so good maybe he doesn't agree with their cause he's just doing it as a main reason he knows Palpatine's ultimate goal is to rule the galaxy so he's just doing mm. this as a way to help him get that that <laughs> uh, job just breaks his legs. You say, ah. Oh. So, yeah, what do you think of? Uh, I keep meaning to go about the question. What do you think of Hayden, Jack? I think I asked Sam. Sam said he's an uh, iconic. <laughs> no, he's not. It's just. It's, it's, the problem is, he doesn't have a good script to work with. He yeah. just doesn't. And he probably didn't have good directions either. And he's quite a young actor as well. Mm. And I just think all of those things added up. So, it's sort of. That's why he's a bit meme -y. It was mm. It was okay, but there's some bits which are so cringy as acting. It just isn't good. There's, um... I can see why they cast him as it, because there's a film that he did before this where he plays a moody teenager who's like a emo kid who has to go oh, spend no. the summer with his dad and build a shack. Yeah. And it's like, and he's like angry in that, so you can kind of see where like, oh, this is an angry kid, let's cast him as Anakin. What have they been doing to her? Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> Your face said, "Yeah, that's the thing." That's why we say it's a Come children's on, Sam, film. Let's get some theories. Just torturing her, I guess. In what a, ways? It's, it's, we don't need to go into that, but <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, we don't want to know what you're insinuating. 
Yeah, they've obviously like slapped her and that. But it's like it's like you said it's a kids' film, but then it just has stuff like this, like being Yeah, tired. that's quite horrible. And you're gonna have the, the genocide. It's a, bit like, it. it's a bit like Cain and Abel, isn't it? It's all, it goes out and kills all the children. You know, that's not the story of Cain and Abel, but still. <laughs> that's, that's the story of Anakin Skywalker, I think, isn't it? <laughs> I thought Kane just killed his brother. Oh. Sorry, Kane and yeah, Abel. Okay. Kane and Abel is more Anakin Obi Wan. But, but no, the point I'm making is the downfall. You know, it's sort of like right. That's it. He's got the mark of Kane on him. Oh, and he's sort of vanished from the light side from this point on, really, isn't he? There's still three years between this and when he becomes Darth Vader, though. Yeah, not not okay. really. Yeah, he's still um, sort of. It's introduced to it that he's going. Yeah, to yeah but a, a bit like Kane, he sort of. <laughs> The way but, she just died was yeah. so bad. Yeah. <laughs> I heard it's, like, uh, it's, it's, like, so he's... it's like the Dark Knight Rises with Talia Ghul. Have you mm. seen that? Oh, God, yeah, like, yeah. Actually, bit, it's a bit like Kane being banished to the land and Nod <laughs> after he kills April. <laughs> My feathers work is done. You know, he's got the mark of he's got the mark of killing another human being on him now. I think he already had that. Considering... He's already had yeah. that multiple times. Have you been slaughtering they, people? They're friends at Nesta Crowdarks. Yeah, they're, they're, not here, they're, ch- they're children. Not the little ones. There's a little, there's oh. a little child there. So the like decapitations and... No, they're still there. I know. They're being aggressive. I'm pretty sure there's an he, Anakin. Yeah, no he defended him. himself. Oh, there you go. Look. <laughs> I love the way that guy just walked up to him then. It's like, yeah. Did you hear Qui-Gon then? Yeah. Mm. See, Yoda heard that, so surely he must be like, okay, let's banish Anakin from this order. That's the yeah. thing. And Yoda knows what's going on, really, doesn't he? Yeah, Yoda loves it. He's sadistic. He really is. He's a horrible person. He's, He's sitting off. there enjoying it. Look at him. Yoda could stop this before it all kicks off. Even when he um, fights the Emperor and fails, he just like kind of gives up. But He's I just think... like, oh, into hiding for me then. No, but he know he's he's bearing the burden of a master. He, he's He just can't quite get there at the moment, can he? It's like Yoda. Well, well, he like, could the, stop the this because he is just killing innocent people, and like he knows, yeah, he can he's... see that the pain and like he's going to become evil. Yeah. So they should go right, bring him back to the council. Will yeah, like the yeah. logistically. I know it's a film, so this mm. needs to do, but you would just mm. do that. We'll but it's the... a yoga retreat. Well, think about um, he's he's also bound by prophecy, isn't he? And they're thinking, oh, yeah. this is the prophecy. So I have, to, you know, what can I do? Yeah, everyone says he's the chosen one. He's bound by tradition as well as the reason of himself. You are the one who brings balance to the force. What was that? Mike. What do you think of R4? Hero. <laughs> Sacrifices Legend. himself in number three. Legend. <laughs> iconic. <laughs> he's iconic. He is. Love him. Is that Pog with the greater then? There's a Poggle the Lesser. There must be a Poggle the Greater. His father. His, yeah, his dad was Archduke Poggle the Lesser. Uh, the Greater, sorry. He's doing that. Huh? God, that <laughs> the blazes. That mullet. Boop, 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 boop. Needs a bit of thinning at the back. It's kangaroos. <laughs> There's those things in everywhere, isn't there, in Star Wars that yeah. so you can just like just twist, <laughs> twist yeah, and turn. Yeah. It's like you're a jag, you're like Popeye. <laughs> oh jeez, Christ! It's just like, I realised this is zoning out. Then, so sorry, I was getting lost in George Lucas Shakespearean tale. Just there, what were like, you doing? Were you like... I was like just this. staring at it. I was just like zoning out. Oh no! <laughs> it's like bring the oh. dead body back. We're gonna cook her. <laughs> like you gotta eat that dead oh, body. Oh, this, this is quite an iconic one, isn't it? Mm. I killed them. Oh. I killed them all. Even Not the just the men, but the women and the children. Yeah, it'd be so much better if he was just like not doing anything, as if like, not like he's just like. Oh, here you go. She's brought. She's brought the. She's brought the titty milk. Look, the blue oh, yeah. milk. Some grapes. Are you hungry? <laughs> But if he was just like, you know, fixing something, he was like, I killed them. I killed them all. The younglings. <laughs> Rather than screaming at it, because you just can't really take him seriously then. I 
And it's funny when this came out how people didn't like it, but then like 15 years later, they were, they're like loved by. I think it's many, many our generation. We've just turned it all into memes and everything, haven't we? Yeah. We, we've. Quite, I think it's just showing our love for it. You've done that yourself. Because the this, this sequel trilogy is just going to be forgotten about. Like. Look at Sam. <laughs> like, I can't imagine people remembering the sequel trilogy as much as they'll remember this. I was just thinking about the work I got to do after this. <laughs> it hits Sam like a train. He's about to oh, it's Obi Wan's fault now. Yeah. <laughs> he's angry. He's like, do you see? They really threw that. It was like a green screen. It was just like, <laughs> yeah, it just rippled. Yeah. It just rippled. It's just like it's never, never. It wasn't even going to land. It's still Obi Wan's uh, fault. Hayden, don't damage the green screen. Yeah. It's expensive. Hayden, I'm deducting that from your wages. It's just like his next bill. It says minus ten cents. This is the bit that she just be like, "I reckon I'm going to leave now, mate." Yeah, <laughs> but she be. just like, "I love you." <laughs> but he's like, "I hate them," and his it's like dirty talk to her. She's like, "Yes." <laughs> She's like, "I hate them," and his lips are quivering. Look, I hate them. It just reminds you of a kid who's like not got like their Christmas presents. He's that kid, and he's like, "Sometimes you're going to notice this." He's like, "I'll give him an uppercut." Yeah, we have seen that one. As he said, no, I'm not on the naughty list. Santa is. <laughs> I'm a good boy. <gasps> That's Anakin when he kills the Tuscan Raiders. Do you reckon you do that to anyone or say that to me? I killed them. I killed the children and the women. She just like. So, Jack, if you went to your. Uh, if you went to Gwen when you were first going out, you're like, I just slaughtered everyone. Yeah, I think, yeah <laughs> we didn't think we'd be with each other. And they're not even going out yet. This is what's yeah. annoying. No, she, they're not she, seeing each other. The only connection they have is the fact that they've been together for three days and they knew each other for two days <laughs> ten years ago. <laughs> Sam's totally the same. Le- I thought he was laughing at his leg. Oh. No, I, I think I like tore my jaw or something. <laughs> <laughs> laughing too much. Tore my jaw. Yeah, it hurts. Eating too much ass. <laughs> Who are the other two people? Uh, Friends. I don't like sand. I'm going to touch it. <laughs> Greg Lars. Greg and Clegg. Clegg. Nick Clegg. Clegg. So I think of it as Clegg. Clegg Lars. Nick Clegg. Nick Clegg. <laughs> <laughs> it's at that same time. I won't fail again. I promise you. You will try. No, I mean, my skills have doubled since the last time we met. Cal. I haven't really seen it, but anything else since this? He was in Jumper. That's meant to be good. That's good. That's got Samuel mm. Jackson in it. So I quite enjoy that. People say it's mm. shit. I thought that's. I thought it was really good. There's one called Shattered Glass as well. Where if there's like a journalist or something, which must be pretty good. I like how they bring C three here with him as well. I guess it is his. I'd like to see these films remade nowadays. Mm. You know, I think they could do that really good. It would have, have to be a completely different story. Like, do you know what it, I mean? If he, even if they did do the same story, it would still sell. It would still do so well. Yeah. The thing is, though, there's all parts of this I like. Like, I like Obi-Wan as you, you and as Obi-Wan. Yeah. And I feel like it just, even, I think you have to just leave these, like, even though they're not good, if anyone remade them, I think well, they, it would these be worse. are going to get remade. Think of like the future and the way stuff gets remade. These will eventually get remade. Mm. I guess if Mickey finds there's any money in them to be made in this, he will. Gosh, there is. They think there is. They're milking that Disney even worse than George Lucas. Yeah, I told you when they sell the toys as well, doesn't it? They make like quadruple what they do from the film. So that even that they make. they're not selling anymore. Like it was like the last <laughs> few films. There's just like tons and tons of Star Wars toys just not being sold because no one's buying it. Mm. Like compared to this, I but we like the Mandalorian picking up. I saw stuff with like the Baby Yoda mm. stuff and that. That's selling like hotcakes. Oh, yeah, Baby Yoda. Ha-ha. 
it's oh. just it's just ba- the make sure you. no it's baby else from it. Oh. whereas in this films it was you make sure you so much Jesus oh. Christ <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to make a point here. Just, <laughs> just talk. Like... Sam just said, like, <laughs> where are we at? Well, what bit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, it was my friend. Um, <laughs> On the tinnies as well. <laughs> it's just a bottle of water. Sure. Yeah, but I remember when we were, we were young and these films are out, even though they're worse films, like, the toys were still selling. Like, they were always sold. But now, yeah. with the sequel trilogy, no one's buying them because no one cares about those films. Mm. <laughs> Sam's yawned. You didn't yawn at Phantom Menace, so I think that proves that this one's worse. Who's the guy on the right? I mean, <laughs> that's his first appearance. <laughs> oh, yeah. The debate is over! <laughs> He's from Sons of Anarchy. What, the guy with the three eyes? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a little like down south in America. Georgia. Uh, Bail Organa, isn't it? There you go. This is literally the... Look, this is literally Hitler in the 1930s mm. yeah. getting given the emergency power. Yeah, but um, he didn't have a Jar Jar Binks to listen in the background and do a concerned look. <laughs> look I mean, look. Look at this bit. He says, only Senator Alan Adala was here and Jar Jar's like, hmm... Misa should do something. This is his fault. It is. Essentially, yeah. I think that's George Lucas saying, Jar Jar, see, Jar Jar is important. He's gave him emergency powers. Yeah. yeah. Here we are. We're the heroes of the story, the Genosians. Oh, Tyrannus. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Traitor. Oh, no, my friend. So when he actually went for this role, he actually went for Obi Wan, and then they gave him um, really? Camp Dooku. You know that? that. <laughs> no, no. I'm joking. That's law from like Lord of the Rings, where he actually went for Gandalf, Gandalf and then yeah. he gave him that. Yeah, I thought he was being, he was being no. serious. Then. I was like, what? it's a Christmas joke. No turkey. It's not Christmas because it's Advent on Sunday. So oh, there we go. Do you know him? It's the first Sunday of Advent. There's a story where um, Christopher Lee's on a set of Lord of the Rings and he's having lunch and he says it's not as good as what they gave us on Star Wars. He's dead now though, isn't he? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Rip. So Qui-Gon was um, Count Dooku's apprentice. Yep. And Yoda was his master. Mm. So let me see. So let me find out what he says. At the moment, they're just talking about Qui Gon. So, the, the Trade Federation, they're separated from the Senate because the Senate is corrupt. Yeah, perhaps Dooku's actually a good man in this. I think he's. he's yeah, here we go. This is what Sam was saying. See, he's basically just said that. It's under the control of the Senate, and he's like, "Well, who's in charge of the Senate?" It's Palpatine. Yeah. So should he be like, "I can't do who's talking the truth. Let's investigate Palpatine." <laughs> it's like, just no. like, that's just half him. No, it's not true. He's like, "No." I like know. how he's sort of like slowly turning as well. <laughs> yeah. It's like that being full Ragnarok. <laughs> it's like, oh my neck. Yeah. <laughs> he's like, no, he's like, it's back to him. He's like, hang on one sec. Oh. <laughs> I'll be back in a sec. Make him turn. Yeah. Make me. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. See, there's always the thing about with a Sith, the master and the apprentice are always trying to betray yeah. each other. Mm-hmm. Even though. Because there's only ever two. So as soon as the, pa- the apprentice becomes more powerful than the master, he kills him. Or if the apprentice, the master feels the apprentice is failing him, he kills the apprentice. Yeah. They can never just be like, cool with each other. No. We said these are Federation. Oh, just pushed Yoda off the thing. <laughs> Dello Feligas. What do you say? Gello Feligas. Dello Feligas. Oh. As opposed to fellow delegates. Oh, God. And this is the guy that gave... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout yeah, yeah. of approval. But why, though? yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's not much kicking off at the moment. 
Or shouting in alien language. Order. Order. I, I love that. democracy. Mm. So he does look quite I old in this one, doesn't he? Yeah, that's what I mean. He's aged. It's mm. the powers. I think he's. I a... love democracy. It's because he's not having any fresh salmon. <laughs> oh, <here we> go. <laughs> God. No, if you have a fr- that fresh that salmon's been hustling. That's yeah, like, so I mean, creature, that's... Sam, and you're eating and killing that. that you should that's... be vegan, Sam. Yeah, salmon's good because you know that salmon's be been vegan. hustling. It, good hustling salmon getting up that river. That poor creature, Sam, of God, you're killing it. I'm not having that. Well, I guess, vegan. The, I guess it's the same for plants as well. Plants. Oh, are, here we go. Don't do this know, Joe Rogan plants, debate. Plants are beings. But um, God. anyway, <laughs> I don't remember. Palpatine looking that old and dishevelled in the third one. No. I think they give him a bit of a haircut as well, don't they? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so Yoda goes off to Kamino to get the clones, so he's away. That means that when the Jedi's go to rescue Obi-Wan and Anakin, they just did that of their own accord, so they didn't know Yoda was gonna probably gonna turn up and help him. But then they all get yeah. surrounded. So if they, Yoda didn't turn up, that's all the Jedi's just been wiped out. Yeah. Salmon's been hustling. They got up the ventilation shaft. <laughs> oh, okay, we're coming up to the worst scene in Star Wars, and I'm dreading it because I'm probably gonna have nothing to say. I like this scene. <laughs> oh, of course you do. Well, just look. There's nothing wrong with this scene. Trolling <laughs> Sam. What? It's just dreadful. This whole sequence up to like the bit of the fighting. It's like five minutes long. It's like the the main point of the scene is they need to be captured by Django Fett. That's it. So they can just cut out this whole scene and just have them walk through the front door and have well, Django Fett. They're like, "Don't move, Jedi." <sighs> Why do you like it, Sam? I don't know. <laughs> I just said. I think he just said that. Just, just no. I, I, I think when I was younger, I didn't mind it. So I always thought it was quite an interesting, funny scene. A good scene, at least. I might not like it now, maybe, but I guess I'll find out. Hmm. It's almost like a level from like Donkey Kong or something. <clears throat> so Artie's a mechanic, I didn't know that. He's an astrodroid, isn't he? Hmm. What does that mean? Raspberries! <laughs> 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 Blows raspberries at him. Yeah, I mean, this is why I don't like this one. It's just. Whip, I don't know. Whip, 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 whip. It's just pointless dialogue, yeah. pointless exchanges with pointless walks. Have you noticed that? Mm. Like this whole film. Look, That's what I said. It's, this bit's like alien. It's, it's pointless to you, sir, but. Well, it just is, Sam. You're just not. Isn't this bit's like alien at the end of the first film when the xenomorph comes yeah. out of the pipes? I mean, it comes is, out. Is, is this where they all live? Yeah. That one pulled out a knife. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I could try to knife me. Because <laughs> at least with the. Oh, I don't God. Know, I feel like the fans are menace. I'm just a bit more interested watching it. Whereas with this mm. one, we're an hour and 40 oh, minutes God. in. We're an hour and 40 minutes in, and there's just da, hasn't da, da, been da, da, a, da. an interesting scene that I like at all. Well, you've got to see how the uh, Geonosians make their droids. Oh. <laughs> That gun. Oh yeah, Jim Rick Battlefront. <laughs> well, I think in any real life Lunch scenario, just got caught in that. Yeah, you know, a cape just gets caught in the back. Like any hum- any real life human would be dead within the next five seconds that they're on that thing. Yeah. I could just jump off, but yeah, nice. Make us stay arm. Jump on one of those arms. Oh, what pointless swing. He's just showing off now. They never fight, the Jedi's never fight anything that is to their match. Worthy. But yeah, <laughs> I guess you could say those, um, Grievous's bodyguards. And then most of the time when they fight Sifts, they not normally lose. <laughs> yeah, they always lose. Or at least one of them gets a fatality, there's a fatality among the Jedi. Yeah. Well, actually, no, when you think of the uh, bits after. You know when they're fighting in like the um, Colosseum bit. Yeah, I'll get killed there. Yeah. 
That's the point. They're only fighting battle droids. Yeah, they're like massively they get... outnumbered. Still, though, they're only against battle droids. <laughs> well, the guy who turns up to fight um, Count Dooku and just gets shot off the yeah, no, uh, Django. Yeah. yeah, that's just yeah. Stupid, that is. That's the dinosaur man. Yeah, Jedi Saurus Rex. Jedi Saurus. They call me Rex. Well, when when like he fights a thing with like Windu, fights Django, just gets destroyed, just gets mm. decapitated. I always wonder when uh, Boba Fett picks up his helmet, that little like his head just like slips out. Like, <laughs> yeah, I love how she was like, "I'm going to help Obi Wan," and <laughs> yeah, instantly just falls in this gravy pit. Yeah, <laughs> gravy pit. It does. It does like a bit of like brownies or something. Yeah, or biscuits. Oh, that fresh paint job. Pimp my ride with exhibit. Yo, we got your droids. So oh, no. oh, no. There's still 40 minutes left of this film. Don't. Don't. Oh, no. I'm not actually... It, no, you're right. I haven't enjoyed this one. Like, I honestly haven't. There's been some good bits of it, but it's not It's not even as good as the first one. No. I still I mean, think that no. final fight scene makes the film mm. on the first one. That That's better than most of this film. But we'll see with the, my boy Camp Dooku. I love the dialogue him and Obi Wan when he's fighting. Mm. It's because this one is Trust just. Trust the Kenobi, you'll disappoint me. It's just brown. Like this film. <laughs> it's just brown. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, look at this. It's just brown. He's in brown. The Colosseum's brown. Camp Dooku is brown. Sand is brown. That's brown. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Sand. <laughs> It's just not interesting to watch. I'll try to think. I'll try to think of a positive of this film. Well, okay, that exploding bomb. Yeah, that's good. That's a positive. <laughs> oh, I'm struggling to find much more than that at the moment. Yeah, these last few Fridays have been I'm time. Like... I've been time in my life that I'll never get back. Oh, I was talking about this film. Oh, Jesus, Sam. <laughs> yeah, no, that's I mean, horrible. Obviously, I enjoy watching this with you guys, but the films are quite. You actually didn't like Halloween? No, no, I mean the Star Wars. Oh, yeah, good. The last few. It's yeah, been this one of last week. The Halloween, Sam, yeah, was exactly, better than yeah. these, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, See? Yeah, At least Halloween. we're getting Sam Semi into horrors. I'm not, I mean, I'm not into it, but... <laughs> I'm not into it. Well, we do. No, oh, yeah, no, don't get me wrong. I've really enjoyed watching Wreck and Halloween. Yeah. 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 But um, I enjoyed them. We, I, we, what about next week when we do Revenge of the Sith? I think you'll like that, won't you? Can yeah, you I like Revenge of the Sith, Sith, but I think especially this is just so it's, long. Yeah, I, I can't remember it being this long. This is actually tedious. Like this, you said you enjoy this bit, Sam. Mm. This is terrible. Yeah. This is just I have the problem is I don't have any. When you enjoy a good movie like Halloween, like or you sort of like like the characters and you have like empathy and sympathy and you want them to. I don't care what's going on right now. I do not. You know mm. what I mean? Like yeah. I, oh, he's gonna lose his hand. Is he? No, it's just like it's just. Obi One's gonna kill me. Obi One's gonna kill me. But if we wanted to do Revenge of the Sith, we'd have to do the one and two. Yeah, that's what that's I meant the by the, this, is, this is two hours of my life. I'm not get back. See what they had to do was just cut down, then walking down the corridor, just cut to that scene of him going, "Don't move, Jedi." Captures. That's it. Because the big action scene is this scene in the Coliseum. Yeah. So we just had a big action scene, and now we're about to have another big action scene. Well, literally straight afterwards. It's like you don't need that. But we've got to have C-3PO get put into a droid's body. Yeah, because it's funny. Make Jar Jar step in the Because it's seat. funny. <laughs> Great. So Why is Clown Wars so in this season? Now she suddenly loves him. That's because she thinks she's about to lose her life, so she's me. I guess so, but, but why? He's done nothing to do it, to show. He sees us not to do now. He's panicking. George is like, act. Well, apparently he just used to say faster, more intense. On everything. He's like, do you want to do it again? He said, yeah, do it faster, do it more intense. <laughs> do it faster. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. So if they weren't captured and were about to die, they probably wouldn't have got together. Oh, I cringe so much at this, honestly. It's just the script is horrible. Look at him leaning in as well. He just uh, he looks oh, terrible. Even I don't like their chemistry together either. I actually just no. don't. It just doesn't work. It's a bit awkward. Even when I was a yeah. kid, I remember just like thinking this scene's a bit 
cringy. I genuinely don't believe they had pre like mm. auditions when they had them together, like kissing. Like I know it sounds thingy, but like, do you know what I mean? Like they need yeah. to look at stuff like that and like see their connection and stuff. It just, I just don't see it with them. Any tearing me apart. There you go. Does that does that camera work not make you feel that you're a Gian Ocean yourself? <laughs> yeah, but I can't relate to them because they're bugs. <laughs> Isn't that not what the camera work's all about? Make you relate. I guess, so, I guess so, yeah. Like that, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not really, yeah, but that just wasn't used effectively. The first time it's happened, and it's just putting it. George thinks we're bugs, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Buy my products. <laughs> I, I did remember I bought my. Uh, Childhood friend from primary school, a Star Wars toy, and it contained Anakin with two lightsabers and one of these bugs that gets cut in half. <laughs> it was all like green on the inside. That might be a limited edition. It might be worth something. Oh, it wasn't boxed. <laughs> Good job. Oh, they are. I heard Boys. someone said, um, no, Gladiator. It's like George yeah. Lucas or Gladiator and wanted to have his own Colosseum scene. There you go. There's the Archduke. Oh dear, Coggy. And the uh, your favourite, Nuke Gunray. Yeah, I got the toy of that it's called Reek. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember that toy. It's got like a bit of his horn missing. I really wanted the toy of this thing though. Did they have one of this? Yeah, there's Jack. There is a toy for everything in these films. Is there a toy for that? Yep. I don't remember that one. Of course there is. I've got a bad feeling about this. Padme's wearing white like she's Princess Leia. Yeah. My internet is struggling with this. Mm. I'm mine's, right. Our mind's doing really well being plugged in. <laughs> if it pauses, ah. just let us know. We can just pause it. Oh, that poor animal. Yeah, I know. And then he just like, being. they brutally murdered them. <laughs> she seems to be on top of things. Good pun. Great pun, Obi-Wan. Yep. He's, he's a bit funny, Obi-Wan, sometimes. Like, he's, like, in serious situations like this, he's just, like, being funny and making jokes. Other times, he's like, oh, look at that little duck, <laughs> you know, he did like that. He's like, <laughs> not that little parry. Like, he's... <laughs> Make him crouch. <laughs> See, super jump. Shoot her or something. Is that from this one? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She can't do that. Shoot her. Oh, this bit looks like he looks like the pass. cat. He looks like the Cheshire Aww. cat from the. He looks like the Cheshire cat from Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> that cut looks like. Oh yeah. Oh, he didn't like that. I always thought like, how's that gonna heal? Like the scabs on her back. Yeah, it's gonna be horrendous. She can't wear backless dresses now. <laughs> you bring your kid to the execution. He's like, why does Django Fett care? He's just... Ah! <laughs> it kicks around the ribs. Oh. It makes like a crunchy oh. noise, do you hear And it, it just died. Oh, he's not dead yet. <laughs> Shoot up! Or something! It just makes like a crunch noise when it gets kicked in the ribs. Doesn't he get like killed by the rhino animal? It's oh. just like... Mm. Could they not use the force? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make them forget the force. Yeah. The energy bars aren't up. They haven't picked up enough back to tanks. Yeah. Oh, God. Did you hear that noise? Like, we haven't heard a Wilhelm scream yet, have we? <laughs> oh, he's, he's going to try and act now. Is this what he's trying to do, Anakin, going up to him? <laughs> well, it's just like, there's a big green box at Hayden. That's the... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was Sting. Oh. <laughs> Some chewed growling. You've got a nose piercing like that, haven't you, Jack? Yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, he's using the force. Yeah, he's using the force, though. He used the force to jump, super jump, didn't he? He's like uh, John Marston. <laughs> <laughs> look at the little crouch. Oh, look at that little two, two attack. You see that little what? Look at that crouch. Oh. oh. He's learned that from Darth Maul. <laughs> oh. oh, jump! Look, she's yeah. a human now. Look, look, yeah. look, look, look. Oh, 
broken a pelvis. <laughs> That's oh. a broken pelvis instantly. I felt that. Look at that throw. Yeet. Shrekking or shrieking? Shrekking. <laughs> Somebody wants. There's quite a lot of blood in this film. Isn't it? Yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. It's brutal. Yeah. It's like Halloween. Why? She gives Padme a kiss on the cheek. Jan goes like that, put, yeah. pouring the teeth over at Obi Wan's cubicle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Patience, Vice Roy. Master Destroyers! <laughs> They're breaking through. See, number one's just got so much more like funny scenes and dialogue yeah. as well. Look his face. Here we go. How do they oh. even get in? Do we Droidicas never cool. talk, just, do they? Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> yeah. So that's the thing, he's so underutilised Mace Windu, isn't he? Oh, Officer Tenpenny. <laughs> Master Windu. He could have just taken his head clean off there. Yeah. It? Oh, let's kill you, Dimundi. Look, oh. And Plo Koon. So they're literally oh. the, the shock T. Oh, kick for his oh. <laughs> oh, look at him. He's starting to head <laughs> one of them to Sam. Sam just fell off. <laughs> How awkward would that be to see? Sam's like that. Just all the Jedi. <laughs> the one who does the Force at the end. He's like, "Have you seen Gangs of New York, Will?" Yeah. It's Sam's a uh, uh, Liam Neeson, you know, the oh, massive yeah. <laughs> cross, and he's holding the battle cross. In that case, I'm Bill the Butcher. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> flame him! Oh, get that robe off, boys! So if, if you think about it, the Clone Wars is started by the Jedi. Yeah. Yeah. Because they just oh, start they this fight. Charge him! Oh, see that the chick cut down oh, oh. the Jedi. Oh, you could see he was in front of a green screen then. Mm. Just two random ones throwing random lightsabers to him. <laughs> Kit Fisto getting straight in. <laughs> to oh, put some work in. <laughs> it's pretty cool, actually. I'm not going to lie. I do like this bit, but I yeah, wish it was just a, a bit more bit. interesting. My legs aren't moving. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh wrecked. See, that's six Jedi just taken out then. Yeah, dead. <laughs> Wow. And I think like the clone the clone wars it should be the clones should be the bad guys. Whoa. Oh god that running was dreadful. <laughs> I do remember really liking this as a kid. I see what you mean with that running, yeah. Where's Kit Fisto doing his uh, fights? Doesn't he kill us like C3PO? Yeah, he does. Yeah, and then he smiles. Yeah. Oh, see, it's just get rid of that. Well, I'm programmed for etiquette, just not the destruction. Whole, the whole side story. Of oh, you see that parry? Oh, back what to back. What bit are you on? Back to back. Oh, yeah, you're on back to back, yeah. Yeah, literally just going to back to back. No, you're still behind again, Sam. It's fine. Did the droid take a shot off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Now, yeah. Oh, oh God, Sam's a good oh, here we go. five seconds behind. That's the that guy just <laughs> dies. How like did a... he not like parried pistol shots? It's just like... He just dies straight away. And he, and he was a Jedi Master as well. Yeah. He was on the Council. I like how Count Dooku just not getting involved. He's just watching. Uh oh. I like how his part. His like, so was purple though. And oh, trampled. It's just like, this is the end of Django. Jetpack's Hurt. gone. Yep. Star Wars have this thing of building up these cool characters, but they just always kill them off straight away. Like Django Fett, Darth Maul. Chong! Oh, we go. Chong! Yep. Chong! Chong! Off with his head now. Oh, doesn't his head Executed. fly off? Do you see the shadow of his yeah. head just fly out the bottom of it? <laughs> that oh. slight move by Christopher yeah. Lee. Oh no, did my did is did did <laughs> my did's did. Huh? What did I say? See, so it's just like oh, look at Newt. <laughs> <laughs> see him. Got to see the hairline of that Jedi. <laughs> <laughs> that Jedi is. Like, there he is. Oh, oh. the smile. I'm trapped. I oh. Hell, I fall and then I can't get up. <laughs> Quick, Mike, get some ice. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, the Super Battle Droids, to be fair. Why are you just talking tough. like that? Parry. Look, I would just love yeah. a later round just to hit them. They're just getting shot at. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, oh, you see that spin? <laughs> that boy's getting ass. Look at that. See, anything can be defeated with a lightsaber. Yeah. See how easy he takes this out now. He's a bit cruel to it, isn't he? Jesus. There you go again. Oh, so you heard oh, I love that. Like that uh, what, the spinning sun? <laughs> it's like oh, God, it's just... Make a funny moment. Yeah. Just... Where, did, where did R2-D2 come in all this? Well, that's what C-3PO oh, just says. He says, where did you come from? I love that you just killed him now. That's yeah. it. He's dead. <laughs> that's his war trophy. He just, like, squirted oil all over him. <laughs> oh, God, look at those extras looks, getting yeah. parried. <laughs> <laughs> Just extras just get riddled. Look at that, just dive. Look at so dive. See that one dive? <laughs> you see him just dive. Oh. oh, the super battle droid wants some. So when the Clone Wars kicks off now, there's no Jedi left to lead the armies. They've all been killed here. Yeah. Perhaps this is only like the the um, masters ex actually... expeditionary force. Well, or yeah, something. they're someone just grown. Look how many are left. Like fifteen. And how many yeah. arrived at the beginning? Like the entire Jedi Council were there because it was like Shark T, Plo Koon, Kiyadi Mundi, yeah. Kit Fisto was there. Oh, he's just like, this one's dead. <laughs> <laughs> or he's just Obi snapping his neck. And then he's just like, he's dead. It's, where's Kit Fisto? There he is. I'm oh, oh, sorry, Kiyadi Mundi. I can't say Kiyadi Mundi. Yeah, so I mean, he's not there. He's there. Oh, there he is, though. He's been pushed in. Oh, look, there they go. Plo Koon. Don't call him Kit Fisto for nothing. He's Ayla Secura. I'm sorry, old friend. So they don't know Yoda's going to turn up, so this could technically be the end of the Jedi. Yeah. Oh, we go. Oh, look at that stance. I don't know why Padme is getting ready. She would just be mowed down instantly. Here we go. Light them up, boys. See, Yoda shouldn't be leading a battle. It's Rise of, Rise of the Valkyries. You know, going over the top. No, they just hear like a 60s Vietnam American rock music in the background. Someone go on there, 50 cal! <laughs> there he is. <laughs> just hear Jimi Hendrix in the distance. Oh, look at, oh, at Kylie the Mundi. You see that parry to the side. He <laughs> took Padme out. Oh no, it just takes her head yeah. clean off. Oh, look at that. Watch this, there's a bit of this window just like blocking yeah, nothing. Like... There's a really funny bit, it looks so bad. Watch, you'll see it in a minute. Look, look. Oh, yeah, you it, see it? It, 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 it literally it hit into the laser. Into him, they didn't yeah. edit out properly. That was a little bit they talked about. Yeah, that. It, so... hit, it hit his stomach, basically. Yeah. Ba -da -bum. And they have this huge battle now, don't they? Another yeah. huge battle. I'd like to see Windu and Dooku duel. That would have been good. Yeah, that's true. It should have been Windu and Dooku. It shouldn't be Yoda and Dooku. His head just lies at the bottom. Yeah, I wonder where it... His head flies out. You see the shadow when he cuts his head off. Oh, does it? Yeah. It doesn't matter because it's not his real dad. Like, there's tons of other clones around. Yeah. You could just, like, this is my dad as well. He will. <laughs> I was like Padme's blaster just going off then. <laughs> just there. Loose fire, loose <laughs> fire. <laughs> Put the safety on Padme. <laughs> Good call, my young Padawan. Oh. It's like, do you have to call me that? <laughs> just nuts him. Mm. See how cool would this scene be if it was real? Like a Saving Private Ryan D Day scene. Of, like, Kicks him out. So good. With Jedi's on like a landing craft. Thirty seconds, like Shaq teaser, yeah. like, uh, like throwing, throwing up, up into a little can too. But yeah, Plo kissing his cross, his crucifix necklace. It's like a Warhammer board. Oh, you real occasion. <laughs> it's as well. <laughs> oh, you ever like, play Warhammer? Like, I, I, I wanted did to get once. this. It's, it's quite complicated, the rules, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. That was a bit of... That was like a proper war film shot then. So... Look how quick this has all just been set up. Like, yeah. really, like it's ridiculous. 
over there. I love the War of the Jedi as me. much as they don't say they don't like. Yeah. yeah. You know Look at Windu. Just... Oh, Bluin is pushing up. He's like, I want to get <laughs> reaping. I want to I want to christen some people with my holy laser sword. It'd be, just, it'd be so much better if you just saw this. Like, it's like... If it was done well, it would be so one, cool. Oh, look at that! Oh, angry parries! You, they trained their whole <laughs> life as warriors. They never get to fight. So you can imagine how much they love this right now. Yeah. They've got that bloodlust, you know. Yeah. They're just fueled like warrior priests, you know. Just like striking people down. It's like, like he great, great Heckman, Sam. You, can, you know who that is, don't you? No. Who is Great Heckman? He was a, he was a warrior priest uh, of Canterbury. That was like really famous. Um, that like fended off like the Viking Crusaders, and he was like literally like a war oh, hero almost. Warrior priest, yeah, like a monk. Yeah, warrior. Honestly, Tom and Heckman. So you don't think I don't think Yoda should be leading the Grand Army of the Republic? Nah, he should be a strategic, but like in the battlefield, mm. you know, the back. Like he shouldn't even. Be he, should, he should be like. No, you, should be no. Um, how do you spell his name? Uh. I don't know. Just if you if you just type it because he's in the show Vikings, but he's off a real um, he's off a re real uh person. Type in uh Vikings like he Heckmon or he I can't remember what it is. It's something like that. What it's a warrior priest? I don't think Yoda should be for war anyway. He should be like no. Or well, was not like one great. That's a direct Yoda quote. Heyman. Heyman. That's it. He was a medieval bishop of Sherborne. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. Oh god, in the Vikings, he's so good. He's just fighting. He's there, like, like qu quoting passages, like parrying them all, like he runs in a land. So you see how interesting he, this yeah. film is. You're talking about Heckman. He died at the Battle of Merton. Literally, yeah. in the, the Battle of Merton. Literally, in the climax Assassin. of the film, <laughs> we're talking about Vikings. <laughs> We have to. He's a holy priest. The Saxon army of Wessex versus the uh, great heathen army of Denmark. That's what this yeah. is. That's what they quote for this battle. <laughs> George Lucas like, I want the uh, Saxon army of Wessex versus Denmark, please. The great heathen army of the Confederate. <laughs> look at that guy run. <laughs> oh, look at that land speed. Oh, oh Duke is. Oh, he's in that. Oh, he's in that prone position. Look at him. He's in the doggy position. Look at him. <laughs> That's such a look, dirty composite. He's perking that dumper up, look. I think Ayla Secura is the most useless Jedi. She's the one that dies in number three. Like, it's like she just fell over yeah. in Order 66. Yeah, when she's the flat, and they just all riddle her by the yeah. big plant. God. Yes, sir. It just looks like a video game. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It does look a bit... See what I mean? It's just so brown. Yeah, it just is. I prefer the design of the stormtroopers in this, or the clone troopers in this for one, compared to the third one. Yeah, I do actually. I like it. They look a bit nah. sleepy. I like it. So, I like it a lot. No. Just no. Nah. I, thought, I thought the camouflage ones in Kashyyyk looked pretty cool. Yeah, yeah that's what good. they should look like in... Oh, you got mowing them. Look at that. That's that's pretty good shot, but you can't see anything. <laughs> that does look cool, though. Yeah. At the same time, you just can't see any of the action. It's very, it's very primitive moment. tactics they're doing. Like they're they all walk just, forward, yeah, sort of yeah. like 18th century yeah, kind of like American <laughs> Civil War tactics or something. Just line up, get in lines, and just shoot and walk forwards. Oh, how convenient! Plot armor that we're out of rockets. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's you when you're out with your mates, isn't it, Jack? <laughs> Tell your lads to drop back when you're being followed by a group of pretenders. <laughs> oh. oh, just broke it back. When he's screaming, the, the like sand getting in those cuts on their back. Oh, oh yeah. I forget to say something else, Sam. <laughs> All the sand getting in. Getting into the cuts on their back. What war? <laughs> this war has literally been going on for two hours. Yeah. <laughs> they always say, like, you can't love because at least the dark side, but maybe one and Anakin get angry quite quickly, don't they? Mm. 
Mm. We all know that leads to the dark side. See, so he's clouded now when he's mm. going into this fight, you know, and he's reckless. Yeah. They, don't, mm. they don't get that synergy going, you know, like him and Qui Gon when they're like faking oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. him out. They don't have that. You oh, know? Yeah, the fake is good, isn't it? Yeah, I love that fake. <sighs> Look at him with his little front mirror so he can do his makeup. Did you see that? <laughs> he's there doing his lippy before the fight. Like, There's mm. still 20 minutes left. <laughs> don't. This God. is quite a good bit. I didn't realise. Oh, just how painful do you know, this do you know annoying? oh the clones got clipped then I was going to say one of them come in yeah they all got killed <laughs> there's this little sex slave leaving <laughs> his chauffeur <laughs> it is you see chauffeur. the way he looked at him yeah so in this he's like you're moving slowly from the left <laughs> the chauffeur going slow like, go, yeah. going slow <laughs> <laughs> yeet <laughs> like he throws against the wall so why can only they use lightning much of far up on yours. I like how he holds his lightsaber like it's a sword as well. Yeah. To on its hilt. I don't think so. Here we oh, go. I you well. oh, oh, the way he activates oh. that. Oh. He holds what it as well. Lad. Look, here we go. Oh. How oh, much of this hit. is... Well, look at That's CGI face, that was, Do you know he was all CGI then? Dooku. Is it just like yeah, a stuntman with his that. uh That his wasn't face even on. stunt double then, that whole sequence. It must be. No, no, no. The, no, the bit when he went like quick, sped mm. up, that was all CGI. Gosh. So how much of this is Christopher Lee, do you reckon? Not a lot. There's a stunt double and then like mm. some of the bits with the face is him. Like when um, Ian McDermott fights Samuel Jackson, it's like... Oh, yeah, God, you can <laughs> see that, yeah. yeah. Like, especially in the part when he's like crawling along the floor, trying to get into back oh, into the yeah. corner. They've got a long way to go. Yeah, I was going to say, where's he off to? Yeah. <laughs> oh. God. He's cloned, isn't he? So he obeys his orders. Mm. It's been a while since I've seen this fight. Oh. Do you think he doesn't kill Obi-Wan because he respects him? Yeah, I think so. Well, no, he's going to go kill him here. Oh, he is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's the way he's moving. It's CGI. Mm. Brave of you, boy. So you've chosen death. I don't know why he takes two lightsabers. Like, how's that going to make you better? We well, can dual wield, can't yeah, you? Yeah, but if, if it, what would you rather have two pistols or one? What do you think you'd be better with? You'd have more chance of killing them with two, I think. I think you'd be worse. <laughs> I think because it's different styles of fighting, isn't it? Um, because maybe it, he's practiced with dual wielding. It wouldn't make you better, though. Like, if you're amazing with one... Well, having two well no, because there's up. actually a thing with this because there's a guy which does like reviews of fighting, uh, film fights and stuff mm. like that with like real fighting styles. And like when he talks about people dual wielding, they like if you're good with it, you will win 99 percent mm. of the time because all you do is you block, parry like that, and then you they're exposed with the other one. Yeah, and you just kill them. Oh, I could slice so, it off. Oh, <laughs> look at his face. He's just like, <laughs> He's just <there> like oh. <laughs> easy. He's just like oh god. Okay. Do you know, when they filmed this now with Yoda, they used a little doll, a little mm. tiny doll, so, so he could see what he was fighting, and they put fangs on him. What, Yoda? Because George Luke, yeah, because Christopher Lee played Dracula. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Like, literally, Christopher Lee was like, George was a, such a practical joker. <laughs> you can tell he's like, put fangs on him. Yeah. Make him bite it. You, you <laughs> Make him a vampire. Time. See, you're, this should be, I think Yoda shouldn't use a shouldn't fight if he does fight it should just be the force shouldn't be a lightsaber nah, it's a, yeah this jumpy bit it's just a bit he gets out of, it brings out of a toothpick and he's a bit slow <laughs> like just attacking then when he's dropped the roof and once he's struggling it should be so easy for him yeah he should be like a why do you say you're powerful because you will have a couple of rocks from the roof Well, going back to your point about dual wielding, Jack, if Anakin was any good, he wouldn't have lost it in five seconds. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was just proof that he just isn't mm. uh, in this, that Windu's so much more powerful. Windu? Um, Dooku. <laughs> Dooku. <laughs> Same person. <laughs> I do like this whole, like, it's almost like a duel, <laughs> isn't it? And a proper duel. But our skill of kissing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> if they get a kiss chase. 
Good, oh. you are kissing. <laughs> no, not this. It just ruins Yoda. I think it's quite... Oh. No, it's... Oh, God. Sam, Sam is just wrong in everything, Will. We can universally agree. Yeah. It's just stupid. They're both CGI there. Look, there's not even a stunt double. They're both CGI. Yeah, I know. It does look... CGI, there you go. Yeah. One shot of Christopher Lee. Mm. It's just a why. Oh. Why does he have to use a lightsaber? It's tiny, and he's like flying around it, where like someone just flicked a bogey off their finger. He's demonstrating his skills. No, yeah, I, I, don't, so I don't. I, I agree with you. Where we're talking about like the quick, I, I actually think I prefer the the old style of fighting because it's more yeah. thing. This is over the top. Like even these people that review these fighting sites, you don't fight like that with a sword no. or a lightsaber. The, only the just, way they're spinning at the back, like you could say that they're uh, that higher to their powers, and they're just so powerful they can do that. He, he, I didn't realise there was a set etiquette of fighting mm. lightsaber. Well, there well no, now. but it's just like the practicality of it. Like, why he would spin it like that when you could just slice and kill them straight away. Yeah. Like, um, when they do that spin behind the back, there's no top. They could just stop and kill. Unless it's just momentum. It's Keep just the momentum going the of the swing. But Yoda shouldn't have a lightsaber. He shouldn't have to fight. He should just be you should just be one with the Force. He should just be, just, he's too powerful for Dooku. Because every time every person Yoda fights matches him. Yeah, I can understand the Emperor matching him, but he she, he should be able to wipe the floor with Count Dooku. Yeah, if Anakin can beat him in the next film, look at him all cozied up. Yeah. He's got his little heated blanket on. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if he did that? Like on his patchwork blankets across his like his knees, <laughs> <laughs> like a thermos. Another weird shit. Yeah. I mean, he got he got out of the atmosphere. Make it quickly. make it weird looking. Yeah. I don't know what they're meant to be, like, sails or something. It's just... So, in that time he got out of the planet, Yoda's literally just picked off his stick. Well, he's used all his force powers. <laughs> oh, poor Yoda. Because Yoda in the uh, Empire, Yoda's like, you know, war's not, like, one great. It's not about fighting. It's about being in tune with the force. It's about balance and mm. using it to better yourself. And don't, He never trains Luke with a lightsaber. So we're back at Coruscant. Did you yeah, that's a very odd-looking ship, isn't it? I mean, what's the point of the parachute thing in front of it? Mm. It's like a solar sail, isn't it? Yeah. Count Dooku has solar power. He yeah. cares about the environment. <laughs> <laughs> I use. I don't use fossil fuels. <laughs> there, there is no gas in this. <laughs> I want to see that's this part of Coruscant. on a shot. This part oh. of Coruscant looks cool. Look, it's like the rundown part of Coruscant, isn't it? I want to see it's this the, part. It's in the industrial district. Yeah. This is the uh, the Hackney it's of the, Coruscant. This is the Sith lair. Master but, Kenobi, you disappoint me. It's a shame that's the last time we see that droid. <laughs> or his chauffeur. Yeah. <laughs> So do you think Mark, you think he knows this is Palpatine? Yeah, he's got to know it. Mm. It's confusing that they give him two names. He's Lord Tyrannus and Count Dooku. He's not. A, he's yeah. a Darth Tyrannus, isn't he? Yeah, well, Darth was, Tyrannus. Yeah. was Count Dooku his uh, Jedi name? I guess yeah, so. he was Dooku. Yeah, perhaps what, he, yeah, so, yeah. So now he's come, his Darth. Yeah, because when you he comes from an aristocratic family, so yeah, <laughs> he is. He's, he's a, Count Dooku's definitely a, votes Tory. Perhaps, or perhaps it's like a thing of his, vamp, you know, Frankenstein. Probably, yeah. I didn't think of that, Count Dracula. Yeah, Count Dracula. That's it. Yeah, that's yeah, that could actually be it. So look how many chairs are left in the uh, master's room. That's <laughs> all the empty <laughs> okay. chairs. Yeah, that's all. That's all that's left the council now after that battle on Geonosis. That's why they promoted Obi Wan to master. I wonder what happened to that one who was sat who had like, the really long beard. He probably fell off the ship or something. He's got no legs. <laughs> yeah. I got no legs. I'm That's what I mean. Now. How does he fight as a Jedi? And then that's the thing. You say, how does he fight as a Jedi? In that case, why does Yoda have to fight? Surely there must be some Jedi who are just like researchers and mm. you know what but I mean. He's the most powerful Jedi of all time. Mm. Who? Yoda. It's Luke Skywalker. No. No. Well, he is, if you look at the uh, lists. They always say Luke is the most powerful Jedi. Well, in theory, Anakin is, because remember they checked the midichlorian counts. Anakin oh. had more than Master Yoda, wasn't it? 
How many does Ray have? <laughs> oh god, darling. <laughs> Off the charts even more. So this is this is meant to be like the end of Empire Strikes Back, but it's just do you know it's meant to be like the look at the blue one look at his mouth oh <laughs> yes <laughs> like, it's meant to be like I the end of um, Empire with all the characters on like the downer it's Del Boy what it's Del Boy <laughs> what Master Palpatine Palpatine <laughs> it does look a bit like David Jason he does with that hairstyle yeah yeah oh and then we have the wedding Frenchin when the, oh! when the priest like aren't you a Jedi and he's like no that aren't they allowed to get married? It's like that scene, what's it called? Um, Borat. You know, when they're in the thingy church, get married, they take the veil off, and it's just oh, the yeah. man. And it's just like, you a Jedi? He's like, no. <laughs> His hands, it must be freezing. Yeah. When did you have the droid? Oh, wait, why am I asking that question? <laughs> Surely she would have stopped it as well. She'd have been like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they survived. Surely come to your senses. Hmm. She's a senator. Hmm. She got a doily on the head as well. Well, this is this is the ending, basically. So that was painful. Yeah, that was very very mm. bad. I don't think it was as bad as number one. Oh, <laughs> so, so yeah. What, yeah. After watching it, so, yeah, I I didn't I did I think number one was better. Mm. I think number one's better. I, and I thought I, last week I thought number two was going to be better, but there's just the fight. There's some of the fights are good, and it? it's just. Story's terrible, CGI <laughs> is terrible in it. The acting is was terrible in that. Yeah, why do you why do you prefer this one than Sam? I think there's a bit more action. Yeah, I've heard some people say there's a lot more action in this one, but yeah, but sometimes the action doesn't you know, equate to it being better. Yeah, I think just... I think the last forty minutes is okay, but it's just the five hours before that which. <laughs> so from the that moment, factory scene was terrible. After the factory That's... scene. It does kind of and the whole bit. beginning chase bit that was dreadful. Mm. Which should be good. But if you're asked, how, how, what would you give that out of ten? Four, five. Yeah, I'll give that a five. What did I say last week about? Um... I think you said five, didn't you? Yeah, five I'd or go... six, I think you said. I'd go five because this one is definitely like the bottom Star Wars film for me. Like it goes Last Jedi, then this. Like, and it's just because it's just. No. I, just, I just don't have no interest in watching this one. Like I'd throw on um, Phantom Menace. It wouldn't be good, but I could throw it on. So you've got, you got Force Awakens, and then what's the one between that the middle one? Last Jedi. And then what's wait? Did they only do two? And the Rise of Skywalker did... is the last one. Yeah, I didn't like that one. No, <laughs> I need to... that's down there for me. I just need to go to the toilet. Oh, Sam, can you hang in for two minutes? Because this is like the end. I can wrap it up All in right. two minutes. Yeah, we can wrap yeah, it up. Then. Final thoughts on everyone. Come on, Sam. A <laughs> uh, bit better than the first one. The bit of action in it, but it's quite it's quite tedious for the first hour and a half. An hour and a half, tried yeah. two hours. Yeah, yeah, it was. Jack. Yeah, I thought that was worse than the first one by quite a bit. The acting and that, like the way it was shot, and just I, I you're right. I didn't think the use of CGI. They just used it for pointless scenes, just mm. to try and add to it as filler. But it just made it took you out of the experience. Yeah, I did not. Yeah. wasn't that good. I'm the same as you. I just find it's just a bit boring. Nothing yeah. really happens. The action's not. We found that our conversation was just drifting off into mm. different things. I kind of like Haymont the fight in the Colosseum, but then as soon as that ends. I'm just a bit bored again. So I like 10 minutes of this film. <laughs> Whereas I quite I'll like give you that. I quite like Phantom Menace. I just think uh, Phantom Menace is funny. It's good, bad. Whereas this is just boring, bad. Yeah. Yeah. I well, agree. anyway, you all finished? Anyone know anything else? Mm. Okay. That's it. <laughs> okay. Peace out. Well, we're excited for Revenge of the Sith. We finally got, yeah, we got there, guys. We got to Revenge of the Sith. We got through the slog of number one and two. So that's good. We've well, done uh, it. We've done it. Well, everyone, thank you for enduring Attack of the Clones with <laughs> us. Um, me and the lads will be back next week for the best of the prequels and my third favourite Star Wars film. That's how good I think it is. Revenge of the Sith. Yeah. Cheerio. May the Force be with you. Ciao.